<laughs> you actually fight this oh, thing on the cover? I don't. Remember. I'm not exactly sure what the I. I'm not sure what this is supposed to represent in yeah, the new version. Because I haven't like. Oh yeah, this is the old art. But like I haven't yeah, like is... you know read the module, but I have seen yeah. a lot of the art and I don't remember seeing. <laughs> this this would definitely be in like the garden level and not like outside. So oh, it true. just it just occurs to me that Gary Gygax, when he got that commission, he was like crossfaded, and he like did his best to describe what he was talking about, <laughs> and like the artist is like, I all right, <laughs> I have a frame of reference <laughs> for this, but sure, <laughs> this wizard looks like something from RuneScape, nineteen eighties. <laughs> Um, and oh, so I guess in the time that we've been talking, they fixed the, the dice button layout. That Ooh. was weird. I guess they got some real-time updates. Um, yeah, yeah okay, so... Real-time. Yep, so there is now dice on the map layer if you need to just roll a single die. Um, oh, it's you don't on need the to bottom go of the game log as well. Yes, on the bottom of the game log, that's when you can click on it. So that's super helpful if you just need to, you know, roll a d20 or, or d100 or whatnot. Um, and I think that's the only major update uh, from the last time we played, technically. Uh, so let's get started with what happened last time. Any so, down dates? I quit. We're going. Okay, I'm done. No. <laughs> I mean, uh, seven days to die had a down date. <laughs> so, last time on Expedition to the Barrier Peaks, the four of you set off essentially across the Barrier Peaks. Peaks Mountain Range, traveling together to get to the other side. Yep, right there where that arrow is. Um, during this travel, uh, you had come across a strange cave that was basically looked like it was made of smooth steel. Um, not interested in it, you were going to continue, but then a freak blizzard happened, thanks to Joey, uh, and you all had to uh, take refuge in the cave itself. Upon going in there, you eventually came across a large double door that sort of slid open. Um, and uh, making your way in, it was a very weird-looking room to our players. We know it to be more sci-fi spaceship-looking for the characters themselves. The closest they could have seen this is maybe just, like, everything made of a, in, a, in a forge. Entire houses made out of steel. Excuse me. Um, you were immediately attacked by a cloaker, I believe, um, or some other similar creature. Um, dispatching it, a weird automaton came across, uh, found you, and uh, ushered you to a room in the center of this uh, large ship, or the large area that you're in. Um, in which case, a orb with the screen on the front popped down out of the ceiling and greeted you all. His name is... He is the Aphelion 3000. Um, <laughs> among us, among us, Klaus. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, as uh, as you were uh, talking to him, he uh, pretty much gave you the rundown. This was a ship from somewhere else in space, not that you want to know what that is, uh, that crash landed here after something bad went on the ship that 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 um, uh, took out the I guess the crew. Uh, but that was years and years, centuries ago, perhaps. Um, he tasked you with three th three tasks, at least for sure. now, Chores. Um, that he was asking you to do. One was to take a look at three different androids on this level of the ship, uh, to collect some radiation samples, be it flesh, bone, things, anything that's in a radiated room. Um, and you get to learn about radiation. Um, and then three... A bunch of colonies been taken over by these mushroom-like people that we don't have to eat, um, but uh, they they want it cleared either by con uh, con convincing them to leave or just eradicating them. Uh, you made your way around several different rooms, seeing a couple of blink bl uh, was it blink dogs, yeah, blink dogs. No, is um, or no displacer beasts, displacer, displacer beasts. beasts. In in one thing, you're like, yeah, let's not. Uh, let's pass by that. They, they were on the scene. Uh, you found a bunch of gray slods just trying to do art in one room. And uh, you found some tubes that look like, apparently go down lower into the ship. Um, but they're not open and not activated yet. They're anti-gravity tubes. And uh, Alfie will activate them if you tubes. help them out. Yep. 
The only other thing is that you're looking for a couple of uh, keys as well, as many of these rooms are blocked off by coded, color-coded key cards. All the cuz. Um, and you haven't found any yet. Um, but that is where we essentially are. So let's move back to the spaceship. Aww. Yeah. I didn't, get, didn't get to finish my message. Well, that's what you get for being too too fat. We'll, we'll, we'll see it on a break. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you were in the uh, northern part of the north, north, mostly center part of the map. Um, if you need to find yourself, but let's get some creepy music. Up. We were Next in a, like drop blocks. We were in a rec room. Yep. Games. Yeah, you were in some sort of recreation room, a couple of uh, just physical um, exercise machines, games. IRL or, Minecraft. More or less, yeah. I, I, I honestly, I wonder what these boxes are supposed to be. But <laughs> um, do an investigation check. All right, give me an investigation check. Nine. I mean, it's like one of those, um, it, one of those three D puzzles that you see in a lot of uh, games, where it's you've got Tetris pieces and you've got to put them together into a big cube. It's basically a bunch of boxes labeled "dirty gym rags," but you can't read the writing because it's not in common. And you have no idea what it is, so. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is pretty much where you'd stop. You had collected uh, two rooms worth of radiation. Uh, you'd explored a couple of un, uh, unoccupied rooms, but uh, didn't do much in them. And uh, that's where we are. What would you like to do? Continue on. <laughs> What's well, a short rest of here? Because I have full health. Uh, I'll, you guys can go ahead and short rest if you want. You say you're, you're pretty safe in this room. Yeah, I, I think we did at the at the end of the last yeah, session. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Good then. So did we want to go more north or further west? Did we find out there was something in the uh, the western part that we're looking for? Um, no. I don't recall if anything was specifically mentioned about that. You were obviously there's going to be things over there, but <laughs> yeah, I and mean, obviously we had to find everything. Yeah, so we just go around the hole, the the loop. Okay. Oh, we've got we've got the map. If anybody still has that open. Yes, they don't. Oh well. Well, I mean that was we don't have our inventory anymore, so. We don't have links. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. I will. I will get you a copy of the map, the player map. Yeah, Mark. Don't be a jerk. <laughs> I'll be a jerk if I want to. Shut up. Take four points of psychic damage. We'll go through this open <laughs> <No>. doorway. <laughs> All right. You'll have to give me a moment as I'm getting you a map. What's that? Uh, <laughs> uh, player version. Boop. And I'll put that in D&D &D Mark. Okay. And then I'm going to slink on over and take up right. the, <laughs> bring up the rear. You know, I'll, book, Bye. I'll bookmark it. You race. Oh, you mean you'll pin it? That's a good idea. Smart. Smarter than me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this is a, another uh, rec room. Um, a little bit different equipment, mostly the same. Um, let me make sure. Uh, this one is actually, as you're entering in, uh, you notice that it is kind of covered in webs. Not completely, just like um, encaved in it, but webbing everywhere. Now, that wouldn't be uncommon for like a place in disarray but have we seen webs anywhere else in the ship uh you can you haven't seen it yet uh go ahead and make a um go ahead and make a uh nature check i think that's fair well that is the wrong one Fine. start on the eraser don't start on the i'm never gonna want to paint fog of war 
Uh, 24. Um, this is definitely not like dust cobwebs. This is definitely um, large webbings from some sort of uh, spider-like creatures. Um, <laughs> like alien come here. You're not quite sure. It's not huge. You don't think it would be Etten, but you're not you're not quite sure. Uh, looking up, you actually see a couple of uh, cocoons containing uh, that are in the webbing that are humanoid shaped. Want to mess I'm glad with we that. have the other room to sleep in. Yeah. Uh, do we want to mess with that? I have made it a personal, um, made it a personal mission to never touch a cocoon that a spider-like creature may have created. Uh, anybody in here can make a um, perception check or investigation. If you want to sort of look around. Do you have our... Uh, okay, here's our... our oh, heck right here. yeah. Seven. Oh, you're rolling like me, Cal. Stealing all your bad seven. luck. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you walk Give right into... <laughs> Six rocks right into, like, a cobweb, and it's just got that, that like, spider feeling cut webs on her eyes. Like, ah, get it off, get it off! <laughs> you know... We haven't come across any. Also, a cocoon. <laughs> Same. Saul, oh, you you see in some of the webbing a uh, a blue card. Oh, a blue card. Uh, one of the ones on the ceiling, or? Uh, it's still not on the ceiling. It's over. We'll say over near the far beds uh, over here. This one of those one of those keys that we're talking about. That's not a key at all. Well, it looks like a card. Uh, card like a cracker? It looks like a cracker. Yes, but don't eat it. I don't eat crackers. I'm an obligate carnivore. I told you already. I don't like how that looks. That was, a, <laughs> oh, that was me. I was just trying to find out what it Alert. Alert. Yeah. <laughs> I was, say, I was getting some Doom 1993 uh, vibe. <laughs> Grabbing the oh, blue no, the, key card and then doors open. You can open straight up. up <laughs> you can straight up find a blue key card, especially one that looks like the old key cards, uh, in um, Doom Eternal's second DLC, or oh, yeah, one of the, yeah. the first DLC. One of the DLCs is yeah. literally a dude is holding a blue key card uh, on his corpse. Oh, remember that opens that blue door we saw in the hallway. <laughs> Let's go try it out. Like to, if you'd like to go get it, go ahead and uh, if you got something to cut it down with. Go for it. Yeah, my axe. Uh, I will leave that to somebody with a bladed weapon. Yep. Yeah. Use my my axe. Or no, I have a warhammer. I don't have an axe. Lariel, use your sword. Tell me what to do. Oh yeah, folks. Okay. Uh, right. Please. Yes. Please get the cracker for us. I'm going I mean, to get the cracker you, for you. Have you ever heard of a dwarf using a bladed weapon? Please. I'm all about the <laughs> hammers. Oh, okay. Way to lean into the stereotype associated yeah. with you. I mean, own it if you can. I, I don't imagine. <laughs> Stereotypes. Anyway. I'm a vegetarian dwarf. Lyriel, <laughs> <laughs> you now have a blue key card. Do -do -do -do. Take me to it. I wonder if I can. <laughs> oh, this background nope. music written by uh, Andrew Hulshut. Let's go, guy. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's try it on, on that door um, in the hallway. Uh, as you were heading out, um, behind you, you hear a sort of. I don't know if my sound effects are actually coming through because of the noise per noise suppression. Uh, but you hear a, 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 a whoop essentially behind you. Uh, and you see a... Oh, don't have this out. Oh, uh, no. A large spider has just sort of jaunted into existence in the side of the room. Kind of like looking around. What do you all do as as soon as it comes in? Roll my maul at it. Oh, no, I can't do that. When I'm not raging. I'll throw my hand axe. 
Yeah, a closet door opens and it jumps out. <laughs> oh no, it, I think it just appeared in the corner. Yeah, I throw my hand axe yep, it, as a reaction. Uh, clickety clackety, roll for attackity. <laughs> I, I, I have the exact same reaction anytime I see a spider. <laughs> ah, throw something. I have so many broken windows. Uh, 23. Oh, whoops. What did you have, uh, Rhubarb? 23? Oh, that was my attack. Oh, no. Uh, we'll, we'll get hold on to that. And we'll get just roll your initiative first. Oh, I thought you said attack. Okay, initiative. Wait. Yeah, I mean, anybody you just immediately just react of attacking. You can do it. Yeah, okay. I might have said attack. I said clickety clacky roll for attackity, which is sort of. My, oh my god, this is too whimsical. Um. Clicky um, clacky roll for attackity, which is initiative. Uh, <laughs> might be good oh. for this battle. I don't know. Okay. I, I, go, oh, I was kind of digging it. <laughs> I was asking her friend what um, um what she uses for battle music and like uh, this one track in her videos, and it was from um, Kevin McLeod. And I was like, there's like a thousand of those. I don't know what to look for. In those. <laughs> Um, okay, so the attack, Joey, was a 24. Was that that, is that my actual attack, or...? It'll, it'll be like you're just reactive attack, so it happens before combat. So okay, yeah. this is not your first turn. It's essentially a surprise round. Uh, a 24 plus it was 8 damage, I think. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Big damage. Uh, did anybody else want a sort of very quick attack if they had something at the ready that they could just do? They're not going to be able to run in, but if they had something they want to throw... Or oh, you're being too in. convenient. Too too, uh, too nice uh, the surprise round. Oh, 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 come on, Joey. Oh, come on. <laughs> He's going to put three more in the room. In <laughs> yeah, <second>. probably. <laughs> yeah. No, Lyriel was too happy to have gotten the blue cracker. Yeah, I was not <laughs> expecting to fight. No, I didn't have anything ready. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, that will go on to the normal thing. Uh, this spider is now up. It's got a, it's up first. It's got a uh, initiative twenty. Uh, it's going to go up to the first thing it sees. Well, it's going to go up to try to go up to you, rhubarb, as uh, you made uh, you attacked it. Uh, it's going to spider climb on the ceiling just to get over you, uh, to get over Lyriel and Saul, and uh, it's going to go ahead and bite. Curse my non... What was it? Hobgoblin? No, what was it? <laughs> What's the thing that has freakishly long arms? Bugbear! Uh, curse bugbear. my non-bugbear having arms! <laughs> ah. <laughs> Should have worn heels when made you taller. Um, eight will not hit. Uh, next up, a, another spider phases into existence. Oh, Jack. Yeah, this is phase spider D. This is D. It's, it's oh. four, one. A at least four. <laughs> four. Base, His base. name is just David. Base and fire. Showing, D's nuts. They're showing up in God faces. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this uh, one's H. Not, how did I not get that? Oh my God! Only <laughs> me who does that. Lo losing your touch. Losing your touch. I know! <laughs> My mouth is um, full of I couldn't react. Saul, you were up. Uh, well, Rhubarb's head has that one covered, so I will uh, deal with the one that just showed up. And... Dang, I'm going to have to refresh. Uh-oh. No, you're, you're fine. Good. Sometimes it, it bugs out where if I click on a token, it tries to put it down left of where I put it. <laughs> so it's a little weird. Uh, what'd you roll? Uh, I haven't rolled yet. Oh. Uh, I I am going to shake up a bottle and then open it up and uh, just a, like a beam of, of foam just flies out at, at H. <laughs> and 26? 26 will hit. And I will hit it with Ray of Sickness, which um, I should that to make a ranged spell attack. Uh, on a hit, takes um, nine 
poison damage uh, if it is. Uh, 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 it's poison, not acid. Oh well. Uh, but uh, it must make a Constitution saving throw of DC 16. Fails. Uh, it is considered poisoned until the end of my next turn. All right. Great right, disadvantage. Uh, I'm gonna refresh real quick. Goes off and take a shower. Much better. <laughs> okay, he's poisoned. How much damage did he take? Um, uh, nine poison. All right, he does take the whole thing. Yay! One of the few monsters that isn't resistant, apparently. Uh. Two more fees in. You'll roll. You guys rolled shit initiative. <laughs> Thanks, Mark. Y you know, that's great. <laughs> Joey didn't want me to be nice. <laughs> thanks, Joey. Yeah, thanks. No, I can't. <laughs> like, uh, and that's all they're going to do from phasing in. What uh, comes after Z? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Rhubarb, well. you're now up. All right, since there's four of them, I'm gonna rage. All right, you are raging. Oh, and I added that um, companion, so as I rage, I can actually grow in size. All I'm right. Rah, 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 rah. Over here. But I still wanted to see it, but you can see it, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and my axe will ignite with fire. And I will attack. All right. Always with the fire. I know, all the time. Well, nobody ever uh, imbues their weapons with like psychic damage or. Th or well, I, mean, I can't. I know, I'm kidding. <laughs> Here, what else can I do? I can do fire. Um, acid, cold, fire, thunder, lightning. Okay, okay. Thunder. thunder. All right. I was joking, no worries. It's a very loud, it's a very loud weapon. Actually, fire isn't one of these. Oh, here it is, yeah, fire. <laughs> yeah, fire, okay, okay. yeah. Yeah, yeah, thunder damage. I thunder right, be purged. Roll an attack. Yep. 12. Stop. Stop facing into the wall. <laughs> yeah, it's it's doing. I, I think it's sometimes if I, I put in a certain character in the text name, it uh, messes up. But all right. uh, 23 will hit. I'm oh, sorry, that was an attack. Um, four. 10 damage. 10 obviously. damage nice. plus three raging. Oh, yeah. Plus, was that D6? Yeah, D6. Let's say... Let me get roll dice on the yep. game log now. Four thunder damage. Four. Takes all there of it. It's looking, really, it's looking really bad. There should be a kind of like on-off toggle uh, for actions uh, when they've got rage uh, to just include that or not. Yeah. yeah, what I do is uh, some people have made uh, items that essentially mimic the spell abilities, and I've done that for like mage armor. I, I get some of those in homebrew uh, for mage yeah. armor and rage and stuff like that, and just turn it on when it's on. It's, urgh, urgh, won't stop moving. It's right next to you. Okay, good. <laughs> um, I have a tempo of reach, doesn't matter. Okay. Anything else, Rhubarb? Um, no, that'll be it. Well, Muriel. Yeah, Lyriel. Okay, you're not up. Lir Lyriel, you're up. <laughs> Lyriel will protect everyone. I mean, I'll do my best. I mean, I can only herd cats for so long. <laughs> <laughs> Feline joke. Any anyway. <clears throat> well, I'm going to go hold off this horde over here. <laughs> and then um, Lyriel's going to tear ass off this way. 
to get okay. in the way of, uh, of these guys here. Okie doke. And then I'm going to attack um, uh, H. I'm going to attack H. Okie doke. And Luckily, so. he's the only one of us that can reach them if they're on the ceiling. <laughs> okay. 24 will hit. Mm-hmm. And then this one-handed slash. And then, um... And then I'm going to swing at B. Because they're both there. I don't think that'll hit. 15 will hit. Oh. How much damage was for the uh, other one? Ten, uh, ten, 10 for the yeah. first one. Okay. 10 for the first one, 11 for the second. Okay, and 11 was on B? Yes, 11 was on B. Okay. And then Lyriel is going to be like, yeah, bro. <laughs> I got you. All right. Uh, I gotcha. <laughs> Come and have a go if you think you're hot enough. <laughs> Six. You're up. I gotcha. <laughs> you're up, Cal. All right. I'm gonna move here. Oh. All right. Oh. Is that possible? Yeah. Yeah. If you're trying to get like line up a thing, you can just get like right of the corner there. That's fine. Okay. I'm going to go here and I'm going to use one of my trick shots and I'm going to use piercing shot. <sighs> I don't know if I can click it to put it in chat or whatever. Um, when you make a firearms attack against a creature, spend one grip point and attempt to fire through multiple opponents. The initial attack gains a plus one to firearms misfire score. Um, on a hit, the creature takes damage, and you roll an attack at disadvantage for every creature behind it in a line. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so it's it's normal um, yeah. for one grip point, and then every other one is just disadvantage. So you get one yeah. normal attack and then two disadvantage. That sure looks like flanking to me. Just saying. <laughs> She's You're... specifically trying to not get Lyriel in the line, so it is not yeah, flanking. Yeah, this is more like trying to cast lightning bolt. Yeah, this is me rule luring. It looks like you're in melee range. It's gonna be. Dis- I have um, I oh. have oh, oh, that's gunner, right. yeah, that's right. so I can shoot yeah. in melee. Yeah, Joey, you turbo nerd. <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, actually, <laughs> I, I can do that in Mark's games. I learned not to do that in in DM Phil's games. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so the 20 will hit that first one. Go ahead and roll the dis- the two disadvantage just to get them out of the way, and then we'll okay. do damage. Okay, is there a way to roll a uh, disadvantage, or do I just have to click twice? Right, Right-click on the roll area, and it should bring up a little thing. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. So that's not a... I know that, that roll 20... If you have the add-on, it's so... Better you... 20 has the, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, the add-on. Did I take 11 or 11? Um... Let's add them together, but only take the first digit from the first one and the second digit from the second one to get 11. <laughs> uh, misses by a little bit. Do you roll for every creature? Or if you miss, well, does it stop? Oh, 20 Disadvantage for each one. No, 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 no. Uh, was it? Oh, it's plus 11. Okay, yeah, 22 will hit. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was, I was misreading that. <laughs> yeah, I was 22 surprised definitely about hits. that last time. <laughs> I wanted, I, I, I'm very curious. Go ahead and roll one more. Up. Plus 11. 20 hits. All three hits. So go ahead and roll three damages. The first will just be roll BH, BHF. Best huggable friend. That was my band name in high school. <laughs> That's the first one's 15, so B gets 15. 19 on each. Oh my god. <laughs> 28, wow. You have a... Is this like a, a blunderbuss? So like, what, what yeah, are you holding? blunderbuss. Okay, yeah. <laughs> and then I have to reload. Yeah. Can you do that as a bonus action? Or is that an action? Um, It's an attack action to reload. Gotcha. So I gotcha. can only shoot with this one twice instead of three times. Yeah, but you hit three things. So that's good. Yeah, yeah. You get your you get your money's worth. <laughs> the blood uh, Mass transit, mass damage. <laughs> then but fighters reload get for eight. my second and then third attack. Yeah. Each is dead. Yeah, I, oh, uh, I think I overestimated how powerful these spiders were. F is um F is 
looking okay, but B is pretty, pretty, uh, bad. Hmm. Now, these, these things can be dangerous if they're allowed to do stuff. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we fought, like, three of these things at level 5 in a game, so we're level 10. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So these yeah. aren't too bad right now, yeah. The True. 26 yes. will hit the... Well, 26 will hit. Go ahead and roll damage. I was going to say, because... It's like that Captain Dan and the Scurvy Crew song, Joey. Oh, wait, like sorry, wrong button. Ignore that one. <laughs> I clicked a little too far. Flip lock lock. There it yeah, she likes to she likes to cause well, a fault with her blunderbuss. <laughs> uh, that will also kill that one. Mm. All right. Any more movement or bonus actions? No. Nope. Back to the top of the round. Uh, D is up, and he is going to phase out of existence. Nope. It's like a jaunt. Um. After that, uh, Saul, you are up. Uh. Well, at least my choices are more limited now. So, um. Uh. Remember. Uh, remember, Mark, you can you can hide items. There's a little eye icon. Oh right. Uh, yeah, so you don't have to move them out of this space. You don't want to. Yeah. Uh, throws an alchemist fire at it. Uh, 13 damage. 13 damage. Um, how much to hit? 21 to hit? 21. Uh, yep, that'll hit for 13 damage. Uh, hits looking really bad. It's still standing, though. I'm going to take a step back to give Rhubarb some room. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Coming up next. Another one piped to existence. How many of these things are there? Uh, I guess we'll find out. It's looking around, confused. <laughs> Jerry? So Jerry? Sure Where's the... Jerry? <laughs> Another one comes into existence. And then Face Spider F is really hurt. He's going to phase out of existence as well on the run. Oh. That one should not be there. No, he's not. He's over there behind those boxes. <laughs> um... And yeah, let's get the other two in here because they all rolled between Saul and and uh, <laughs> Rhubarb. Two other ones that look healthy phase into existence. But they're not going to take an attack because they are assessing the situation. Because I'm nice. Rhubarb, you're up. It's, you need to get back to me. I almost killed you in our last game. <laughs> I mean, I had it under control. <laughs> All right, fish a small to to G. All right, sixteen. Sixteen will hit. Or twelve plus three. Plus... Uh, and you said C. Yeah. Plus five thunder. So 15, so 20. All right. Yeah, it's looking hurt. Pops in. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> Smack to the face. Yeah. yeah, 13. Just hits. Ooh, nice. Yeah, 14 plus three. How do you want to do this? I go, I hate spiders, and I just start smashing it with my, uh, my warm wall. But I'm just pretending to be a spider. <laughs> I'm actually one of the aliens pretending to be a spider. <laughs> oh, jeez, what's going on? This was Bingo Night. <laughs> <laughs> We're making sweaters for all of our friends. <laughs> for our little babies. 
There are also <laughs> spiders. <laughs> here, right here. All right. The cocoons on the ceiling are full, uh, full of knitting, uh, uh, named, uh, <laughs> yarn and stuff. Rhubarb. You just went. Yep. Lyriel. I mean, I can bring myself, like, little me out again. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, time to do more heroic stuff. <clears throat> like swat the bugs. Like, very heroic. <laughs> like swatting bugs out of the air, yes. <laughs> you know, stepping on up in there. I, I, I figured I needed to add some of that trademark lyrical goofiness that I used to <laughs> bring on. He just doesn't need to be nearly as loud as he was. That physically hurt me to be him last time. Like, the shouting all the time. It was... I, I was yeah. injured. Yeah, I kind remember. Of, anyway. Though. Kind of worth it. <laughs> anyway, um, so I am going to be taking a swing at E. All right. All right. 21 hits. All right. Ariel, are you drunk? <laughs> no, I just drank a lot of Capri Sun very fast. I found these pouches. Eleven damage. I found these pouches in this this uh, container over here. I think they're good. <laughs> three hundred year old, cool. three hundred year old Capri Sun packets. <laughs> it says cooler on it, and I can't <laughs> imagine anything cooler than this. <laughs> It comes with a straw! <laughs> it took me forever to figure out how to get it into the damn pounce, though. <laughs> and then uh, um, and then I'm going to gonna smack E again. Or try right. to smack E again, but um, I don't think I'm hitting him. 13 will hit. Just what you need. Oh. Uh, really? Yeah, they're Delaware right. armor, and they're giant oh. spiders. <laughs> oh, oops, they're oops, 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 sorry. I clicked the wrong thing there. Sorry about okay. that. Okay. There we I go. Big damage. It. I imagine the Ariel's uh, rations are, are lunch bowls. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm an obligate carnivore. It's all jerky, dude. <laughs> it's all jerky. It's with pepperoni. <laughs> <laughs> there are all uh, uh, any other bonus actions or movement? Um, let me see if I've still got an action I can. He's looking. Hang on. Pre... He's looking bad. Or he's oh, looking you know bad. what I could do? I can. Do... Yo, you know what I could do? Um. I do have a bonus action I would like to do. I would like to do yes. a daunting roar. Okay. Um, if you want to do a smite, it'll do a little, little extra damage. If you want to do that? Nah, I'm. I got to hold on to my smites, Joey. Yeah. Until I really need. Well, you're a little tiny. You probably have a bunch of them. I do, but I also I. This fighter, Joey. This Joey, you know what happens when I when I roll out of turn and I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't greedily gobble up the opportunity <laughs> to roll a two when I should not. <laughs> okay? But anyway. What, is, um, what, does the, what does the roar do? Yeah, so it's... Um, <clears throat> as a bonus action, once per short rest, creatures of your choice within ten feet of you that can hear you must succeed a wisdom saving throw of DC 15 or become frightened of you until... The end of your next turn. DC 15. And I, uh, DC 15, wisdom saving throw. Two failures. <laughs> Who failed? We'll say the two near you. I'll go from like top to bottom. It's generally what I do. All right. Cause... The only one's within range. Yeah. Because I am loud and scary. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Six, you're up. Is a, is a continent. Is, is yeah. what? Is a continent. Europe is a continent. <laughs> Europe is a continent. <laughs> I hate you so much, Mark. <laughs> uh, anyway. <laughs> Six. Doused you. Doused you. Is, is, is Lyriel feeling okay about both of these spiders? Uh, Lyriel's feeling mighty fine about the spiders. Go attack whatever you'd like to. Yeah, I... The only one hit is E, so the other two are full health. Yeah, and I'm I'm all right. I'm all right holding these beasts off. 
I let the other thing. I, I also don't want to make anybody think that I just let things run away from me. If they're, if they're, if I can see that they're running like to my friends, I will do attack of opportunity. Yeah. But if the monster is clearly trying to retreat from me, Lyriel is like, he's like, okay, he's running away. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna swing at him if he's running away from me. You know, so gotcha. I'm, yeah. I'm lawful good, not lawful <laughs> stupid. <laughs> well, when they run away, they they literally phase out of existence. That, uh, six. I yeah, doing? I am going to steal my blender bus and draw a pistol, and I'm going to shoot the one that hasn't been damaged yet. Uh, a or G? Uh, oh. Alice. Okay. Her name is Alice. <laughs> it sounds like Alice is about to get the, the hammer fanned on her. <laughs> Pick up there. Six shooter f spin the chamber. Oh Aim up. 24 will hit. Dude, that's amazing. 13 on A. Character's like a one trick pony, though, just to have that bonus. Yeah. <laughs> kind of worth it, though. <laughs> uh, that one hits. Uh, second attack? I see. You have three attacks, right? Yeah. Yeah. That hits too. Dude, oh. she's... So what's making that a, a, like over a nine? Um. So dexterity is adds five, and then I get four from the proficiency, and then um. Oh, yeah, the, four proficiency. Yeah, the the archery one adds plus two to all. <laughs> oh, archery! Attack, yeah. Okay. Nice. Which doesn't uh, really make sense to me how art, but it like specifically says ranged attacks yep. and. Because the only ranged things were bows and crossbows. Like, Everything I argued against weapons, it, so. and Joey was like, no, it just says ranged attacks. I'm yep. like, are you yeah. sure? Yep. Um, if only 15 my... is just what you need to kill it, so how but do you like, want to kill... If it's too broken, I don't mind switching it out with something else. I no, it's fine. It. It's, a, it's a plus two. Don't worry. <laughs> I mean, if you were using a bow, it would have been the same thing. Like, same amount of damage. Mm -hmm. So. Um, but yeah, uh... How do you want to kill this A? So I'm going to tumble over in front of Saul because I don't want him to get hit and I will just hammer fan Alice. <laughs> yep. Nice. You still have one shot left. Six is like if Whisper but like didn't suck. <laughs> didn't like like <laughs> it, she's if Whisper existed and didn't have my dice rolls. <laughs> Does that thing have to be so loud? <laughs> I'm gonna reload with my third attack. Okay. Top of the round. Face Spider D is not coming back. H is dead. Saul! I kind of wish that uh, that uh, my spells weren't just purely um, um, cosmetic in me throwing bottles. <laughs> So I could get that plus as well. Um, <laughs> I'm going to shake my ear to get the noise of the gun out of it, and then step <laughs> further away and uh, throw something at G. Uh, I don't feel like using up uh, any more spell slots, so it's going to be another alchemist fire. Okay. 24. 24, 24 hits. Uh, 11 fire damage. Well, that's a good, good hit. Um, anything else? Um, uh, no. C is dead. G is actually going to go. Uh, coming out of the fire, it brings its uh, mandibles up to giant rhubarb, and is going to just take a uh, bite attack. Natural fucking twenty. Got to do my um, eating <laughs> spinach when I raged. Oh well. Uh, the first die was a 10. <laughs> the second is a 6 plus. So you take 18 total damage. Is that before reduction? Or oh. I'm saying it again. You broke up. Oh, what time of damage is that? Uh, it is piercing. Piercing, alright. So I take half. Okay, nice. Yeah, you take 9. Uh, and then I need you to make a, a constitution saving throw. Does giant reduce it as well? 
Uh, no, that would be, cra cool. be crazy. Oh, it's not actually in large reduce, it's just your ability. Uh, 18. But you're fine as the poison does not uh, set in, but you do take half. I'm actually advantaged against poison. I know it missed, but let's keep that in mind. Yep, we'll do. Uh, you take half of that rounded down. You take seven poison damage. And you are resistant to poison? I'm, I'm also resistant, so I'll take half that. The poison damage or the poison... Okay, poison damage. And that rounds down again to three. You get the double round down, Joey. Nice. Double round down, down. Double round down. <laughs> down. <laughs> All right. I have like a uh, Danny and song. It's going to phase out of existence with a bonus action. Yeah, you better run. <laughs> Face by everything about pop pa F A is gonna show up. It's also gonna they're all gonna leave. Wait for it. It's only eight of them. I'm still gonna I'm still gonna wait around to make sure it's like it, 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 is another one gonna show up. Waiting for the giant super <laughs> spider to appear. <laughs> Six seconds pass and rum 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 rum. We go back to normal size. Okay. Yeah, he phased out too. Oh. Oops. Oops. Rhubarb disappeared. He gained like powers. He gained uh face spider powers <laughs> after being bit. He pulled a Mega Man. Oh, am I a superhero dwarf? Spider dwarf. Oh spider dwarf. <laughs> Hey, that music's not loud enough, so. I now have a new build I need to make. <laughs> yeah, where are those uh, insect guys from Spelljammer? The three uh, green? Three uh, green, yeah. Hey, Whisper was one of those. It was. Let's open that blue door. All right, so yeah, you so be sure to note down Lyriel in your items uh, if you want to like add a pouch that's a, a keyring or in your notes somewhere that you have a blue key card because this will only work uh. when you're near a door. Oh, oh. Lyriel has the blue key card. Yeah. Um, yeah, what would you like to do? So there's still cocoons in this room. And there's no other things. Still a bit of webbing. Um, I know it's. I thought we'd check those. Let's check the cocoons to see what's in there. There might be an yeah. android. Alright. Um, there are... Let's see how many cocoons there are. <laughs> Roll for it, nerd. There's uh, six cocoons in this room. <sighs> While they're checking, uh, since uh, Rhubarb seemed uh, a little bit hurt, I'm going to come up, uh, and do a little jump, and smash a bottle into his head. Uh, take nine, uh, nine healing. It, it's like in Borderlands when 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 um, I always watch Boom just shoot people to heal them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay. Uh, anybody who is going through one of the cocoons, please roll a, an investigation check. Five. Five. Well, I might, I might need a, a lift up there to, uh, to look. Okay, so those two, as you're trying to uh, poke through them, uh, the, the two that you uh, puncture, uh, those aren't bodies in there. They're egg sacs, and two swarms of insects pop out. This is a feeling targeted. By the way, rode the five. Being swarmed by spiders two games in a row. <laughs> um, okay. Um, these spiders. So, who are the two people who are rhubarb and. Saul. Six. Saul. No, six. Okay, I so you guys. Yeah, it was me. Yeah. Are they the cute spiders with the big eyes or no? Um. Roll a d100. 
<laughs> um, I think I did. What'd you get? Oh, ten. Ten. Uh, no, I was thinking hi. They are not. They are horrible, evil spiders, but, uh... Not gonna run into another combat, so we'll just try and take. Uh, they'll each try and take an attack on you, got each of you. Um, first one on rhubarb. Twenty-two to hit. The second one on six. So fifteen hit. Um, I, don't I think have nineteen. Hit. Okay, so rhubarb's the only one hit. Uh, you take. 10 piercing damage. Why heal? And you, st <laughs> and you stomp the rest of them out pretty easily. They, they just phase out of existence. Mama, mama, Baby mama. space fighters. <laughs> uh, do you need another bottle? Uncle Jerry? <laughs> okay, we're not opening the rest of those. <laughs> uh, we called it off too. Know. We called it off too long. I wanted to find that blue door. All right, get Nancy. Yeah. <laughs> After being spidery, I think you can watch the entire actual path of the uh, people's movement. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lyrial sombers by. Whoop, whoop. Oops, sorry. It, it takes him a while to notice <laughs> that things move. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm sorry. I, I was protecting was from other space spiders that may have come in. So how do we yeah. use this thing? Something about a a, a, a slot on the door, or, or, or well, the key is actually on the wall by the door. Hmm? And you put the Lirio. card on the key. There's no keys on here. There's only little little uh. Little nubs. Little nubbits. Wait, they did that thing where he told us to put the key up to uh, the thing on the side, the, the lock. The lock on the thing. No, Lirial the lock is the, the lock is the card. The thing on the oh. wall is the keypad. What's yeah. a Yes. And he, he, so we uh, actually Lirial. have the, the blue lock the to open the nice. keypad. And Malerial, like, puts the <laughs> puts it on the key reader. You're Open putting words. Door, you're door. putting words together that make no sense. <laughs> I don't get it, but that's how the 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 talking head talked about it. So I'm going to do the thing, and, and then the door opens. Yeah. Like uh, door. Yes, this room see? seems un unremarkable. Go ahead and roll me a d12. A d12. Uh, okay. Yes, I'll, yeah. I'll roll the d12. Yes. Any clicking? Depends on the roll twelve. Oh, uh, there's no radiation, so. Like uh, looking around, you see it. Um, you see a metal box on the floor is the only thing that catches your eye, and on the picture of the box is a lightning bolt. Mm. Mm. Perhaps it's full of magic scrolls. A mm. lightning bolt. I don't need a lightning bolt, though. I'll get him anyway. <laughs> yes. So I saunter over yeah. and I pick up the box. Or try to open right. the box. You open it up. Uh, inside, there are these just sort of these weird metal sort of cylinders. Oh, candy! Um, <laughs> one of them has a picture of a, a bunny with a with a drum on it. Mm. Like a marching drum. Heaps. <laughs> Do you try to eat one? I, I will not try to eat the one that's obviously a battery. I will save this later. Yeah. <laughs> Treats for later. Dessert tonight. <laughs> you know, uh, hmm. Like little bullets? Or six, I think I found lightning bullets for you. It's a full pack of batteries. You find four of the cylinders, so you essentially um, can mechanically put down that you have four energy cells. Okay. As if I know what those are. <laughs> they are items. You should yeah. be able to grab them from the. Uh, yeah. Energy cell. Yeah, these are way too big for your gun six. 
even my blunderbuss. Might That's be able huge. to put him in there. Yeah, cool. I mean, <laughs> is it? <laughs> is I'm it going like to the, try. Um... <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, while they're looking at... now, Lyriel, we've gone over this before. If you see something that looks like it, it might be expensive, but you don't want it, you get it anyway, so we can sell it. I, are you not aware of my my lifestyle, my persuasion? I. I, uh, no, I don't do that. And then he, the literal just kind of walks off. <laughs> <sighs> uh, you try to stuff one into the, the blunderbuss, this particular type of energy cell is just does not work with the chamber. You're, you kind of imagine that if you had, like, a big old one of the, can like, pirate cannons where they just throw whatever cr uh, metal crap that they had in there as some, you know, buckshot cannon, it'd be pretty cool to do that, but it doesn't quite fit in the blunderbuss. Man, I thought these people are supposed to be advanced. They can't even make bullets right. Why she just screws it into the very end uh, of the barrel? <laughs> I, I, I like a Darkwing Duck thing, a kind of uh, gas bomb or something. Uh, continuing. Oh, the Am I taking all of the energy cells, or did someone else want some? I added them to mine. Oh, okay. Yeah. He's got bigger packs. Mm. Oh, so many oh. blue doors to, to Is, is that a wall on? straight north of me? Uh, uh yes. Okay, Sorry. just making sure. More, yeah, it's, it's kind of hard to. Yes. Yeah, they'll, they'll fix it eventually. Yeah, they need a um a shape erase tool. Mm -hmm. Or a snap to. Snap to grid would work. Yeah, I mean that might be kind of. Maybe. Right. I mean, be exactly they have a the grid, so. <laughs> Oh yeah, but it's, um, the walls aren't always on the grid. Precisely. You do have a couple of you do have a couple of doors. Um, they are all empty rooms, however. Um, roll me one d8 for the three rooms that you open. Uh, I'll get it. Okay. Oh, I... four. You see in the um the back of one of these rooms, a display case and in the display case it's like kind of like a uh a butterfly collector type thing they're just mm -hmm. specimens pinned on display of uh, different uh, types of animals things that you've never seen before i i will assume it's this one and uh oh, i will oh. roll to investigate it a trophy room of sorts check. nature or investigation 19 19 um, there's nothing particularly special, uh, about them. There's no hidden thing behind them. It's just, basically, this is probably somebody's, uh, Lepidopterist's collection. You it's, just made that up. Or no, no, is that Philetus? No, I'm thinking of the Venture Brothers show. Philetus is, uh, stamp collector. Lepidopterist is butterfly collector. Words! <laughs> um, nothing special about them, though. Under my carried weight, it says I'm carrying 26.20000000003 pounds. Good old rounding. I find a little useful. I've always found it weird that um, uh, lapidary is uh, about um, butterfly collecting, but then lapidary is gemstones. Then lapidaisy. Is about lapis lazuli. I'm, I'm too lazy to lo know about that word. Dancing cat. <laughs> um, well, another one of these tubes. Is this one offline too. It is offline. You can see into it, and uh, it looks dark, and nothing inside is moving, and you can't open the door. Well, you can open the door if you bring the uh, the blue key card to it. Did you say there was like a suit inside one of them? No, these are the, that suit. The suit is uh, stored somewhere else. Okay. You were prompted. Okay, yeah. Yeah, we need to collect the various suit. <laughs> yeah, get into this. Is in another empty room. Uh, nothing special. What do they do in all these rooms? Nothing, apparently. Uh, except collect insects. Nope, there's a blue one down here. <laughs> These are purple, which is a type of blue, but not the one we're looking for. 
Real. Uh, do you try opening up the tube, um, the gravity tube, before it continuing? Uh, I thought we tried. No, Lyriel wasn't nearby. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> He's got see, the key. <laughs> see if there's anything interesting in there. In the tube? Yeah. You open it up. Oh. Uh, looking down, it's dark. Nothing's moving. You, you kind of, like, drop some refuse down there, or some detritus, and uh, it just drops, so no anti-gravity. Um... It does have a clink at the bottom. Anybody paring down, uh, if you have dark vision, uh, go ahead and give me a perception check. It's like 15 seconds later, it was like, tink. Darn, the one time I don't play a goblin. <laughs> I'm trying to remember if I do or not. Gnomes? Gnome, down in gnome should. on the left. Um, <coughs> gnome should. It's okay, the four, 14's enough uh, for yeah. Lyriel. Uh, looking down, you do see what appears to be a uh, sort of a blue it looks like a wall from your perspective but in reality it's like it's like an iris opening where it's just like a sci-fi door that will open that is also labeled blue so you're thinking that you need the uh or no it's it's labeled um it's a different color it's the next color down let me get this particular notes oh, so we uh, just can't fly down there or, 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 or repel down there yeah. Okay. Uh, well, technically, we can. Oh, well, it's not blue. Yeah, we can just go down there and get stuck. But yeah, it was—it's a violet one, so purple. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So basically, basically, even if you open it, it prevents you from directly going to the next one. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. Which like do? Uh, next door. Open every door. Is there is there an open one? Is this an open door or a regular door? Yep, it is also an empty. There's a lot of empty rooms here, so <laughs> nothing special about this one. Okay. These two are also empty. Uh, I'm not going to bother rolling on those because you just had 50 rooms in a row that were empty. So. Imagine if all these rooms had an encounter. As you head on down, yeah. <laughs> um, and I think they added some to this version. Is this little spot on the floor anything? Oh. Oh. Uh, all you know is that you don't want to eat it. I don't like this hallway. <laughs> that looks like gross stuff. Yeah, but we're looking for fungus people. It might be this direction. Good point. I still don't want to find them. Mm, quick nature check, see if I recognize. recognize this. Um, go ahead, give me, yeah, give me a nature check. 16. Uh, this is definitely a fungus. You actually get up to one of the, uh, the couple things on the wall. Kind of like, ah, eh, it's harmless, you touch it. And, um... I don't touch it. Okay, you don't touch it. You get up close enough to it. Um, as you're thinking it. It's definitely, definitely harmless. And then all of a sudden, four of them just start shrieking ungodly noise. Oh, those things. Oh, jaw, jaw. I don't even know what they sound like. Just they're shrieking high pitched squeals, essentially. Oh, shut up! Sh shut up! You hear movement coming from beyond the hallway. Everyone hide! Remy, what did, what did we need from, from the fungal guys? To, um... Either get rid get of them, or... Yeah, to get rid of them, basically. Yeah, okay. eliminate them, or... Just making sure it's not di uh, diplomacy. Well, it could be. We don't know. There's a bunch of stuff. Okay, I've got to uh, double check something because this is this is uh, gonna be a. Uh, I can't put tokens out for all of these things. Sure you can. Um, if any of you, uh, <laughs> don't think you want that. Um, yeah. All of a sudden, you hear movement. So you guys, does does anybody hide or jump out of the way, or what do you do? Uh, did rhubarb rhubarb yelled hide right? 
Yeah. yeah, I think that's a good idea. Okay. Ooh. All right, everybody, roll a stealth check with advantage because you're just going you're going around the corner. You're obviously not being seen. Well, I, I just roll a normal one because I. Same. No. Fine. <laughs> because I'm in armor that gives me disadvantage. Uh, eight, four. Uh, there's a large mass of these, um, mushroom-like creatures. Come on, load music, load music. Unable to play back. Something must happen with that one. Delete. I hope this is the last of them. <laughs> You're gonna die first. <laughs> Yay. Um, these small creatures, um, all start to come out. Uh, they are, there's a mass of them that are sort of to, to, to do it. And they start heading closer and closer. Rhubarb, you look around the corner and be like, oh, they must be gone. And you see a score of them. Um, what they are? They are uh, small plant-like mushrooms that are just amassing in that hallway and heading towards you. What do you do? Uh, do they? Uh, do they have big scary teeth? It's like what are they? Uh What kind of vibe are they giving off? that i can't uh do it but they kind of look like um oh uh, was that that platformer game where the guys odd world, really odd odd world. yeah odd world it's, it gets I, a... I got the exact same reaction <laughs> yeah odd world but he's like a carrot <laughs> oh what, I'm a so there's, the, what, what there's a mass of these and they are heading this way oh. Oh, 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 oh. um a couple of they got a, a some slick attacks on you. They throw they, they kind of a bunch of pebbles just like kind of land near you, um, as they seem to be just sort of p p defending their territory. What do you all do? Huh. I'm I'm not an expert on horticulture or whatever. Uh, mushrooms are, but I would imagine they're they'll burn like anything else. Well, How there. Long? Huh? How long have they been here? We didn't ask. Well, they're from wherever this ship is from. Now they're intelligent if they decided not to just uh, swarm us. Well, they didn't know we were here. But we must... We must, um... have first contact with the alien creatures. Because a ball told us to. I will. Oh. You want to do that? I will step out and go, oh, hello, friends! Uh, uh, make a. Charisma, maybe persuasion? Uh, anybody uh, stepping uh, out, make a persuasion check. Before I do, I'm going to cast um, Comprehend Language on myself. I so I, do that so I, I can't speak it, but I can understand. Um, yes. The literal meaning of any spoken language I hear, so I can kind of get the vibe. Gotcha. Nice. Uh, pers persuade check, please. No persuasion. I'm rolling so low. Three. Three. Um, they all point at you, and uh, do they speak any language? 
Do they do the? Yes, they speak. They, these veggie pygmies speak veggie pygmy. Mm. Um, they all shout in uni unison. Intruder attack! And you're gonna take um. Do they do the uh, like? Only... Do they do the they live like pointing and screaming like? Oh! Uh, yeah, we'll say that. Uh, you're gonna take seventeen attacks. Uh, they are they are not they are not huge creatures, so I think this will be fine. They all uh, attack at once. They were all there waiting for you. <laughs> um, what's your AC? Sixteenth. You take. Six hits out of the 17. Uh-oh, somebody dropped. It was Randy. Look at the wrong thing. Two, three, four, five, six. You take a total of 22 damage from every sling attack that comes at you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did you say a total um, of two damage? What, 20, 22. Oh, 20, 22. Oh my god. Yeah. yeah. Hello, six, friends, and they're like, pop, 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 pop. 64 plus 6. So, I got some good, some good hits on you. Pop, 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 pop. Alright, so we're starting combat. What do you do after right? that? <laughs> we're starting combat. Uh, Unless you want to run. Yeah, they're 24. It's up to what you do next. So, you have an action. Um, I shall try to repeat the word they said intruder. What they said, yeah. Repeat that, but then shake my head no, and then like wave my arms like no. You <laughs> make a persuasion check with disadvantage. It turns out that that uh, that's basically the middle finger in their language. <laughs> Because you're assuming that no is universal, which it is not. Um, you hear them kind of confusedly kind of shout, talk to each other and be like, it, he's admitting to be an intruder! And they're readying their slings again, so you can move if you want. or you can start to move. If anybody else wants to come in and do an attack, you got one action before you either have to run or combat starts. Uh, I will combat start if we just stay here. Yes. They Man, might not I wanted to you, be but... diplomatic. <laughs> I tried. Okay, well, I'll... Actually... Well, actually, hold on. Um... Oh, oh never not. mind. I thought I had a spell that might help. Well, I mean, uh, there's a few things we can do. Um, so, are we running? Or are we fighting? Uh, well, out of character. Lyriel doesn't mind either way, but, uh, um, uh, now that I'm ready for a scrap, and if I'm not, it's all right. You said these look like weak, weak creatures. They, they, they're little, little tiny mushroom people. Yeah. Do they seem kind of primitive? I'm primitive guessing they're, 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 they're like weaponry they, and stuff. Yeah, they got slings and claws. It, it doesn't look like you know. It they're they're harmless. It definitely would hurt, but they're definitely not. None of them are having like ray guns. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to make an attempt. I'm going to, um... So they, they do seem like a more primitive kind of society. Like, not, like... As as far as you could tell, you would make the equivalent of that if they have a society or not. You don't know, but it's certainly okay to... It makes sense you would think that. I'm going to make the assumption, and I'm going to, um... 
move ahead and get down on my knees and pray to oh great Alfie please descend from the sky and give us um guidance um okay uh and see so if Alfie will descend from the sky make a make any sort of charisma check because this is either deception persuasion to get Alfie to come down um any sort of charisma check that you I want to do. Roll delusion. Delusion. <laughs> uh, I guess performance would make sense because I'm trying to. Hell yeah, eight. Work eight. like a charm. Uh, with that. Uh, um, may, may I do something when uh, uh, yeah. noticing this obvious stupidity? Um, I would like the. Uh, let's see. Would picking up six and dragging her into safety be in a, a full action? Probably so. Yes. I will. I will take the consequences of my action yep, for trying right. to not. Uh, Saul is going to uh, to dart out, grab six, drag her uh, back around here. I'll drag her back around the corner. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Just as you do that, um, a whole bunch of come out as I was trying to get Alfie's token, but the tokens aren't loading, so we'll grab this one as he pops down. Greetings! Did you take care of... Oh, nope, nope, you haven't yet. As he sees all of the rocks and pebbles just kind of, like, come out from the thing. Okay, that was... that happened. Uh, Maps is being a little wonky. Um, oh, you haven't taken care of them yet. Well, why are you bothering me if you haven't taken care of them? Um, well, they seem intelligent, and I don't want to just kill an intelligent species it's been here forever it's been a really been long here time forever. plus i was hoping maybe they'd see you as a god or something and then you could just tell them to leave god. and you wouldn't have to kill them oh huh. i never tried that do you think i should might work okay but uh hmm, let's see pops on in greetings um Somebody roll me a d20 for him as I look up with the, the stat block I did. <laughs> tink, 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 tink. Yeah, that's basically what's happening as he says that he doesn't blink because he doesn't feel pain. It's like, tink, 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 greetings, tink, 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 I am Alfie, tink, 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 tink. Seven. Seven. You appear to be, <laughs> you appear to be bombarding me with pebbles. <laughs> You'd be more like Stupu. Yeah, let me see what the his... The dice uh... really just want us to be murder hobos tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Got a plus three to charisma, so it's a solid ten. Greetings! You appear to not think of me as a god and perhaps think that I am, uh, the, the devil. devil. <laughs> oh, well. He'll just pop back. That hurts. He's got like he's got like a crack coming opening this thing, and like a single drop of oil is coming down from his, uh, from his screen like he's crying. Oh, he's crying. <laughs> Sniffle! Oh, may um, I try something? Uh, you may. Yeah, one more thing, and then we choose violence. <laughs> what do you mean, one more thing? I end up running out, uh, shaking uh, a very big bottle, and spraying... Uh, where is it? Tasha's Caustic Brew at the entire team. Yes! I was hoping somebody had, like, a big, massive AoE. Um, uh, fine item. How uh, much to what? How what do they have to do to uh, save? Uh, it is a uh, deck save sixteen. Deck save of sixteen. Is it? Is it? Do they take half if not? Uh, yes. Okay. And uh, if they uh, if they fail, uh, they're gonna take more damage every round. And it's you said it was decks. Uh, yeah, decks. Okay. Don't um alchemists uh, like what's their thing about um don't they get extra damage with, with elemental uh, spells? Yes, and I forgot to look at it. I'm gonna roll again. This does not mean anything. Mm -hmm. Uh oh, it's gonna be an extra four damage. Oh, uh, so okay. it's gonna be twenty. Uh if, if they fail. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten passes. Surprising okay. amount of the of the twenty four uh, ten. So yep. as they all get covered, uh, fourteen of them just melt into nothingness. As do the shriekers that have been and yelling this whole time. 
Uh, and then these guys are down to 10. And the 10 that are left have, like... Yeah. Like, 3 HP left. <laughs> and, uh... Well, they better get scraping off the, uh, the goo that they're now covered in, because they're not gonna last... Uh, oh, they're only gonna last one round. <laughs> How much damage does it do per round? Oh! Oh, um, I don't think they'll be able to, because... Uh, it does 2d4 acid damage at the start of their turn. Okay. Also, at the start of their turn, they get 3 HP back. Oh, okay. Uh, so, we'll say like? that, like, we'll say that it's enough that they scamper off. That they, they scamper off. Mm -hmm. You've essentially scared these ones. Well. You see them go down the other hallway, um, uh, and they eventually just melt, and as they go through the other hallway, a bunch of other, the other side of the hallway, a bunch of more shriekers kind of go off. Uh, ah, the power of carbonation. Kind of felt bad for him. Poor little things. <laughs> uh, you sure about that? I see quite a few welts on your head. Yeah. Mm. Did more damage than the spiders. Okay, here, um, uh, smack your head with this. Wow. <laughs> uh, That's uh take, uh, 22 healing. Ooh. This Wolverine soul fix themselves. 22. Yep. That's, that's basically what they did to you. Mm. It's like, all right, you devil vegetables. Where are you hiding? Are you in here? Uh, more rocks. <laughs> <laughs> These were definitely two rooms that they came out of. Yeah. And they are now emptied, except for, you know, whatever fungus people live in. Come out, little vegetables. Daddy's home. <laughs> <laughs> Please, Joey. First, Daddy Canis, and now this. Well, I was trying to go for um, like you know, now that Daddy's <laughs> here, you no need to be scared. But I know, you, but you kept, know, on, but you kept on interrupting me, or people kept on interrupting me during my joke. <laughs> so it just sounded funnier. So it just sounded like I was like, <laughs> it'd be weird. Save me, Daddy Canis. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, the rest of these rooms, except for the Shriekers at the end, are empty, and the Shriekers are going off. Do we think those are all of them, or do we not know? Uh, um, if they're still going off, there's something cl close to them, so they're yeah. probably hiding in the back of the hall. There's a blue key door to the end of this hallway. Uh, I'll, I'll keep an eye over here. You, you check that out. Oh, there we go. Lirio, do you open the door? Yes. Yes, I do. Just give me the key. Find your own. <laughs> no, I am. I am the key master. Oh no! And they Lirio, are the gatekeeper. The, this looks to be. Uh, there's one sort of older-looking veggie pygmy, kind of looking over all of you. And he reaches his, his hand up at you and does the same thing. He just shrieks straight at the two of you at the door. Clickety clackety. Roll for attackity. <laughs> initiative. Well, give me one second to open the. Well, actually, it should save the initiative, so. Is there a case of doom? Man, I am rolling good on initiative tonight. <laughs> Nashity, Nishity, roll for initiative. <laughs> I'm going to pretend nothing happens before my turn, and then I'm first in initiative. <laughs> Everybody's surprised but you. Uh, I'm paying attention to down the hall. <laughs> you got this. There we go. So I, I made all these encounters um, before all the characters were done, and it doesn't automatically update the characters. I have to make sure that they're all up to date. 
Otherwise, the encounters with it. All right, so uh, read off your initiatives, please. Rhubarb. Oh, a nine. Lyriel. Yes. What's that? 17. What initiative did you get? 17? Uh, I actually rolled a good. Uh, 17. <laughs> Six. 11. No, he rolled 17. <laughs> That's it. all. Uh, Six I rolled four. rolls 11, 17. What, you rolled a four? Yeah, I rolled four. Ooh, yeah, jeez. Like I said, he, uh, Saul is making sure uh, they uh, they don't get pincered from the other direction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, Lyriel, you're up first as I change the music to something. Cool one. battle music. Glorious. Glorious indeed. Uh, you basically see... Uh, there should be a fifth one in here, I think. So I will just add another one real quick. As he comes out of the ceiling. <laughs> one, just... of them, one of them splits into two. Yeah. <laughs> Veggie pygmy. Veggie, yeah, it took me a while to just pops down. Okay, Lyriel, you're up first. Alrighty. I'm gonna do a, a slow walk. <laughs> slow walk into the room. Oh, can we do the ghost face killer um, pirate walk up to him? <laughs> <laughs> nah, but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna charge on up to five and be like, well, diplomacy has failed, violence prevails. <laughs> Pay the drives. <laughs> <laughs> Roll a diplomacy check. Okay, swing sword. Yep. <laughs> There's my diplomacy will... check. <laughs> <laughs> 19 will hit. We offer you the ceremonial sword into your stomach as an offering of peace. Eight. It's still uh, standing. Oh, shit. <laughs> Just misses. Oh. <sighs> Oh, heck. <laughs> yeah, well. Oh, jeez. Anything else? Oh, jeez, Rick. I don't know, man. I. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Morty, we um... gotta kill these. <laughs> Betty <Bench> Pigmies, <laughs> Morty. <laughs> the Look, we, the we, could run the, we could run the Rick and Morty game. I could <laughs> nope. get it. We could run the Rick and Morty game. The from another world, Morty. No. Jeez, <laughs> yeah. Rick, I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, Any bonus um, actions or movement? Nope. Malirial's going to be in the big old way of the door like a hero. Okay. Six. You're up. Hmm. I guess I'm just going to start blasting because that seems to be... It's laying in the Danny DeVito action, huh? Yeah, yeah, you can get right into the room right next to uh, Lyria. All right, I can, so I can make it to the room. Yeah, each of the squares are ten feet. Remember, can I shoot around Lyriel to the mold maker, or? Yeah, you can do that. So you got to remember, people are not unless unless they are a gelatinous cube, they do not take up the entire space okay. of the cube. <laughs> then I'm just gonna unload. I was going to say, you can, you can lean around me. You know that, right? <laughs> Especially when someone's small. <laughs> Music. Uh, 28 will hit, I think. Uh, yep. I'm pretty sure anything below a 4 is the only thing that misses with a, a 6. <laughs> what type of damage is it? Uh, let me look. It should be piercing. As you try and as you shoot it, it does doesn't do. It's not as effective as you thought. It did hit. Took some damage. They're too mushy. That just means <laughs> I need to shoot it more. <laughs> Can you get plus one versions of those of those um, Xandria guns? Um, I didn't see any. Mm. I think they're just, they are what they are. Yeah, they're, they're, um, uh, 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 
words. Um, they are a class mechanic in go. the shape of an item. Uh, that The 24 will hit. Or five damage. It's just kind of like going into them and like things are spreading kind of like the, the T-1000 in Terminator 2. Uh, that, that'll hit. It's like, pop, pop, pop. Another five damage. Anything else? That is all. Gavengers are up. Uh, this first one's going to come up to Lyriel. It's already, already in front of him. Five. It's going to just claw you. That might hit 21. I think you're a 23. <laughs> it's it's La it's 23, yeah. La laughs in um, Ned Kelly. Uh, <laughs> two of the two others in the left side of the room are going to make two great uh, sling attacks. Both will probably miss unless we get a lucky net 20. Nope. And then these two six are going to come up to you and do two claw attacks. She's slightly Nerd. less. <laughs> 10 and 10. Don't hit. You were just too fast as you're just kind of like reloading like mid spin or finessing your weapon mid spin and they can't they can't land a shot on you. So oh, I want to remind you about something Mark. Uh, yes. Uh Lionel has a shield of missile attraction. Correct. Mm. Um so all range attacks are resist he's resistance all range attacks from ranged weapons. Okay. But if an attack is made within 10 feet of him, they it's all attracted to him. Oh god, do I accidentally shoot him? Um, I think hostile. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, oh no, it's cursed. Whenever the, a range attack is made against the target within 10 feet of you, so I guess it's up to you. Missile. Uh, I'm going to look this up real quick. It is Shield of Missile Attraction. It doesn't make a difference. It's cursed. Yeah. Attuning it to you or to curse the target, blah, 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 or moving the shield, blah, blah, blah. Whenever a range attack is made against a target within 10 feet of you. So I'm going to say for now that the things that Six shot at was not within 10 feet. We'll say it's 11 feet away. Boop. But just remember, whenever someone's attacking someone within 10 feet, it's. it's Gonna hit him instead. Yeah, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have oh. to remember that because nobody's seen that yet. <laughs> I we'll don't that know that in character, so I'm yeah. <laughs> sorry. I apologize in advance. <laughs> but, oh, he's, but, fun. but he does have resist. But, but he does have resistance. So. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm pretty resilient. All right. Yeah. So. Oh, just imagine, like, if, if he was standing close enough by when, when all those sling attacks came at you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just just turn the corner and hit him. Um, okay, uh, back to encounters. Uh, Rhubarb, you're up. I throw my weapon at... No. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess no more ruler on this one. A throw is uh, not a ranged weapon. It does say a ranged weapon attack. Not a ranged attack with a weapon. So you can throw safely around Lyriel. Yeah. Or can you? <laughs> okay, you know, scoots on by so you can get next to the mold maker. Yep. Oh, this seems so tough, so I'm not gonna rage. Need to save him anyway. So I'm gonna be a little reckless and reckless attack these things. Okay. Since <laughs> none of the bullets are gonna hit me. <laughs> <laughs> so first one is fifteen. Fifteen will hit. Uh, we'll just hit the mold maker. And hit the big one. Yep. Uh, uh, twenty-four right. will also hit. Roll advantage. Yeah, twenty-four. Oh yeah, so yeah, twenty-four hits. Right. Uh, 12, 12 damage? No. Oh, um. Give me one more to hit, because you could crit. 
No, I rolled the, the right amount of times. Sorry. Uh, it only popped up three times, but I'll take your word for it. Okay, you take it takes fifteen and then twelve damage. Uh, it's looking hurt after that first one, and then really hurt after that <laughs> second one. All right. Anything else? Uh, it's looking to you, and it starts just screeching. Um, he actually gets some HP back. Well, this would be a good time if I was raging, but these things are not yeah. weak. The, the, um, yeah, actually, if you were raging, you would have killed it. Um, uh, the, the bullet wounds sort of heal and spit out the, uh, the, the, the actual, um, bullet itself. Um, he is going to look at you, Rhubarb, and I need you to make a con save. Does it know the sins I've committed against vegetable kind? <laughs> we are not vegetable. We are fungus. Proper they, nineteen. They are uh, amongst us. <laughs> I, sorry, that um, critical role did a uh, did a among us game. Oh, the, the other night, funny. yeah, because they have a critical role in Among Us. You take, <laughs> uh, you resist the poison uh, effect, and you take half of this poison damage. Which is a good roll, so 11, and then if you were resistant to poison as you were, have again to 5. Oh. And that's all it's going to do. It's all, you're up. Oh, jeez, what are you guys doing? We're having uh, a grand old time. It's a bunch of fun guys in here. <laughs> I already made that joke. Alright. <laughs> Uh, it looks busy in there, so here, have some help, and just chucks a um, uh, just a um, uh, bobble uh, into the room, and it explodes into a flaming sphere. Ooh! Uh, <laughs> uh, right over uh, to the east of Moldmaker, and. Old Maker Timothy. Yeah. Uh sees that Six has two of them uh uh on her, so uh I'm going to uh roll it around to the east of three and four and I'm gonna smash it into three. Alright, so you can get this nope, he's too big. Uh I'm not throwing Ganondorf in there. <laughs> yeah. We'll we'll use this. Uh we'll have to make you a um yeah, that's fine. spell effect, so uh, we'll do the orb. Hey, put it over uh, here. And who, you want to throw it into uh, the mold maker? Uh, no, to, uh, to the oh. right of VS3 and hit him. Okay. So that way, no, east. Yeah, yeah I got you. It's going to be yeah. around it. Right. Yeah, that way, um, uh, when it does the area of effect thing, it'll affect three and four and not anybody else. Right. Go uh, ahead and, uh, and roll damage. Or roll uh, your attack. No, um, I don't. Uh, it is you, a, you can uh, ram it into people. Yes, that is what I'm doing. But that is a... Um, uh, they must make a deck save throw of oh, DC 16. Gotcha. Save. This is a complex one because it's got multiple saving throws involved with it. Uh, I rolled the wrong one, but it's a 17 plus. So, yep, same thing. So it passes with a 19. Okay, and so they take uh, three damage. Uh, fire. Fire damage. All right. Okay. Anything else? Um, well, moving, uh, casting it is the action, and uh, the bonus action was moving it. Moving um, let's see. Sure. It's, um, I'm trying to uh, trying to remind myself uh, when it does the area thing. Flaming sphere. Probably the start of their turn. Uh, yeah. uh but when you move the sphere. Any creature that ends its turn within five feet of the sphere. Okay. So, so yeah. yeah, um, I'm, I'm done moving it. Okay. Uh, Lyriel, you're up top of the round. Okay. Um, Lyriel is going to continue doing his thing uh, to uh, five here. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna swing, swing for the fences. Okay. That will hit. All 
Alrighty. That one is dead. How do you want to do this? Oh, he's he just just a quick slash and uh, uh, like you know, kind of kicking it a little bit just to check if it's dead, and then and then on to the next on to the next enemy. Kind of wheezes a little, little bit as you kick it. It's like woo. Mm-hmm. So if a death rattle has a death woo. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the gas. And then should I run up? Uh, you got that rhubarb, or do you need my help? I got it. Okay. Well then, I'll. Go I got here. you. Two looks nice. I gotcha. <laughs> boop 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 boop. I gotcha. <laughs> anyway, uh, and then I'm gonna attack uh, number three here. Okay. Oh shit. Okay, I'm going to swing at number three. <laughs> Just misses again. Ugh. There's there's my there's my golden rolling ability. <laughs> the We're the fire <laughs> the fire behind him is so bright that the silhouetted uh, effect around him is just you, you can't tell where he starts and the shadow begins. I can't see colors, you jerk. <laughs> <laughs> now, immediately a five is pretty high for you, so I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, but that, that's, the end. that's the end of my turn, though. Six, you were up. It's a Randy 12. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot once at the mold maker again. Okay. Mold maker is now 13 feet away from Lyriel, so you're good. Oh, I almost clicked the wrong thing. Here we go. <laughs> You see the bullet, like, try to veer toward real air, Lariel, but it goes straight. A 23 will hit. It's a, it's a magnetic shield. <laughs> so, boy, I've never curved a bullet before. <laughs> 13. How do you want to do this? I mean, it's a very simple point-and-click interface. <laughs> so I think, um, you know, when the other ones were attacking me, I rolled out of the way and um, dodged all of their attacks while they're trying to run to the aid of their leader. And I'm just going to shake my head at them and then shoot the mold maker. It's now, instead of... Give them a tisk-tisk. Instead of mold, instead of fungus, he's now mold on the back of J.K. Rowling's wall. Special guest the star, <laughs> the mold from J.K. Rowling's wall, everyone. <laughs> yeah, it's my favorite. <laughs> um, and I'm still hoping have one more... they stop attacking, but they're yeah, they're still uh... they're not uh, giving up. They're now just mad that they. Uh... Oh, they've all that they failed, and now they want revenge. Now they have to clean so up their leader. Have... <laughs> they should still have two more attacks. You should still have two more attacks. So I'm gonna twirl my now empty gun and holster it and take out my pepper box. Alright. Pepper box? So you didn't want to eat them. <laughs> yeah, the pepper box to, to counteract their being salty. Oh, that's what uh, that's what Percy's gun was in uh, Fox Machina, the pepper box. Yeah, they're they're. I thought I thought he had named them. Were all just the, the names of the weapons we got. So, oh, it, yeah, it was, it, was, like, it was called a pepper box because he was he, he used black black powder. That's the pepper. Right. Right. Yeah, because these are all names of like like firearms names throughout the years. Uh, yeah. what? Which one are you shooting at? Four. Four. Um. You, you you get up to a close up as you just like you you stick up the the pepper box right in front of it and say dodge this and then as you shoot um the gun just kind of like the, the bullet just kind of like stops like like at the end of Jumanji and then just reverses right into Lyriel. Nope. Think. <laughs> <laughs> um a 14 does not hit you so uh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Six, you have no idea what just happened. But I'm gonna assume it was vegetable magic and I'm gonna shoot again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please, Nat 20. This will be the funniest. <laughs> yeah, now that plus 11 isn't looking good. 
You're like, oh no, I know what this is. And you, you shoot it again, and this time it kind of like misses the thing, hits off the wall, hits off the ceiling, comes back and like hits Relirial right in the right in the top of the temple. <laughs> Roll damage, please, because a thirty is gonna hit Lirial. Absolutely, it does hit me. Fifteen. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> you take half of that. Ow! Though. You take half of that. Yeah. So you do take a uh, seven oh. instead of fifteen. Is okay. this the first time Lyriel actually gets hit by something? Possibly. I've, I've been hit. I've been hit already, actually. By I think it has some by, high ones in the... Yeah. By those other things. Yeah, they they, they, yeah. they, they, they they tried real hard, man. They wanted me dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh yes. Um, Six, you are trying to figure out what the hell is going on, but uh, if you have any movement or anything, bonus actions... Um, I'm. I don't want to attack of opportunity. So. Yeah. Um. You okay. know what? I'm gonna back out of the way because I don't know what's happening. Okay, so you'll back, but you'll stay in range so you don't get the attack of opportunity. Yeah. They're saying okay. The veggie so thing. I can take like up. a five foot step without. Yeah, we'll just take you in right to the back of it, so we oh, no, can get between. That's them, but... um, that's a Starfinder. Can't do that, D and D. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, so okay. He, I see what you're he's doing, probably just so... stay right there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, t- two claw attacks. One going at Lyriel. One going at Six. Lyriel oh. is a miss. Yeah. Six might hits. Twenty one is higher than a nineteen. I did it, folks. Versus. <laughs> <laughs> You take seven uh, slashing damage as one claws you. Um, they have to... That's the end of their turn, we determine, with the sphere, right? Yeah, they're not paying attention to the, the orb at all, so uh, they're going to do it. The Three other six. two are just going to come straight up to you, Rhubarb, because you killed their leader. I didn't kill their leader. Six, six killed their leader. They don't know that. They're, they're stupid fucking mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Uh, 8 and 12 both miss. Yep. 9 more oh. fire damage. That is going to kill one of them. As it burns to death. There's no way to, to get rid of the monsters on the the tracker if they're dead. Or like to, to, to mark them as such. Um, well, but, I, uh, I can't see it on the, on the uh, tracker. <laughs> on my tracker, but I, I can just change their initiative to one, so they're just out of the way. So. Rhubarb, you are now up. Rhubarb and Custard. Oh, Rhubarb. That's me. Yeah. Uh, Sorry, Cadmus, you're up. Let's go one. Second I one. thought you rolled a one now. Yeah. Okay. So 20. That'll hit. Or. Ooh, nice. Uh, 15. That kills it. You just squish it like the mushroom that it is. Oh, I'm going to eat you later. This is delicious and dungeoned. Stop. Um, you're going to make. You're going to make. Boom, throw up. No, other people can eat them. It's fine. <laughs> you have a shared stomach. Oh, that damage. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> uh, can I, can I read something someone said? What? Yeah. It was Bunny Bun. Um, rhubarb should get favored enemy on vegetables and fungus. <laughs> and I said, don't you mean flavored enemy? Mm. <laughs> well, that's a 15 to hit and 12 damage. That'll do it. And still alive with one whole damage left. I vote she gets inspiration for that. I will. I will give you inspiration for that. Yes. Go ahead. Boom did the lay or, or Bun did the layout lay, lay up and Boom did the dunk. Uh, her first <laughs> pun for the campaign. <laughs> Just for because I can do it. I'm gonna move it back back uh, five feet with my crusher abilities. Okay. Saul, you're up. Um, I think they've got four handled, so I'm gonna play some Marble Madness and um. Uh, come on. Let me, 
Oh, I can't control the orb. So, all right, roll it around Lyriel and I'll bash it into VS2. You can't see anything in there, just to remind you. I'm not, I'm not going to do that. That's true. You wouldn't be able to see VS2 from here, but you could definitely tell that VS4 is over there if you want to hit that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'd smack it. I smack you. <laughs> uh, DC 16. Oh, right, sorry. Deck save. Fails. Alright, uh, takes another, uh, five fire. Boom. All right. Anything else? Um, uh, keep it away from Lyriel, but yeah. <laughs> best you, best you can do there. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Don't know if there's Lyriel. any more down there, but they'll, they'll burn. <laughs> Lyriel. We're all going to burn. Okay. Well, it depends on if the, if there's any, like, um, uh, latent spores in the air, and if they're flammable. <laughs> so Lyriel kind of, kind of uh, rubs the, you know, where he got shot, <laughs> like on a set. He's like, oh, ow, oh ow. you shot me in the ear. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, you know, not not worrying about it too much though. Uh, he steps into to four, and he just. Starts laying into it. <laughs> Eight, 18 will hit. It's not looking good, so you'll probably kill it with this one unless you Randy roll. Nope, that'll do it. That's dead. And then, like a grumpy dad walking across the park to push a bully off one of his kids, he goes over to VS2 and does the <laughs> same. <laughs> hey, 25 will hit. That pose from the uh, uh, the... Uh, San Andreas uh, meme. Here we go again. Uh, here we go again. Uh, I was I was thinking it'd be more like the um, that Russian Treasure Island. Uh, yes. With the bum 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 chest just... popped out walking. <laughs> I just rewatched the f the first half of that um, <laughs> last night actually because I I really like that adaptation of Treasure Island. It's actually really good. <laughs> We are out of combat. The orb eventually dips, dissipates. Uh, Bun, if you want to make a or find a homebrew of uh, a fire orb to make as a companion, then you would have you probably have co uh, control over it in here. Oh, but you have to do that now. Yeah, that that's pretty much anything that you want to control over. You just make a companion. You should be able to bring it in. Yeah, like anything yeah. in the extra menu yeah. um, will be in the yeah. tokens for you. And the only version I've ever seen is Muppet Treasure Island. Also very good. We've got oh, yeah, it's got fever. Tim Curry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, the rest of this room is pretty much just uh, it's a mess. Whatever it was beforehand uh, has been just take this whole thing has been taken over by this veggie pig maze. Mm -hmm. oh. There's some remnants of things that used to be in here and and lockers and things like that um lyriel are you okay that that's never happened before no it's uh you probably haven't shot a weapon around a cursed shield before well, that's okay i'm all right you have a cursed shield yes it's Is, isn't... Hard... oh what i'm sorry isn't that something you should have told me before I'm firing guns around you? <laughs> oh, well, usually, um, not many people have such canny aim, or uncanny aim, so I, uh, I hadn't anticipated that initially. But well, like I said, don't, don't worry about it, it's fine. At least I only shot you a little. Yeah, it's okay, it's the first of many, I'm sure. Not, I'm not terribly concerned about it. I can't find out how to make a custom one, so I just put in flame skull. That works. Oh, oh, you would have to make a homebrew, so it's kind of annoying. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm too lazy. That works. Um, yeah. So, what would you like to do? Um, I will also say, uh, Joe, you did look around the um, 
uh, other rooms before. Um, I will say that you, there is a blue key card in like one of the other small rooms that you looked at, so you can you can add that to your inventory. Oh, uh, I missed I it earlier. In case Larry loses his. Yeah. Oh, it's What's still in my pocket. <laughs> What'd you like to do in this room? Uh, no, it's by your foot. No, no, that's that's not that's not how my pockets work. <laughs> what what are we even looking at in here? <laughs> Just the remnants of this room have been taken over by was the veggie pygmy colony. It's the most mushroom area. There's like a a throne that looks like it's on a bunch of stuff um, that they were using as a throne. Let's do a little bit of investigating here. Okay. Let me try uh, to... You don't even you don't even need to roll because you just need somebody to say I'm gonna look around. Um, so they were basically using a stockpile of technology scavenged from the ship. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you're looking around. This is behind. Oh, this is actually behind a small air duct in this room because as, as you're trying to just investigate things, you find uh, two round things with pins in them. Uh, you find a moldy f metal looking gun that looks n newer than sixes uh, with a battery pack in it and a red key card. Oh, glorious. Who wants to carry the red one? I'll get it. Yeah. By the way, Bun, what are your experimental elixirs? Good question. <laughs> uh, you never did I it. Didn't, didn't yeah, I didn't it. roll for it. Alright, so this is basically what you find. I'm going to put it in the uh, Discord. Oh, right, it doesn't freak. Uh, in our current location, a useless one. That's better. Um, so, um, you find two things that are essentially grenades. You don't know what they are, but uh, they look dangerous. You find a laser pistol with an unknown amount of ammo in it right now. And the red key card. What would you like to do with the other two items, Lyriel? Now the two items. There are other items. I'm sorry. Oh, I just you, the items that you found are a red key card, mm -hmm. two ball thingies with uh, pins in them, and um, a gun that looks like sixes, but made out of the same metals as the ship, um, with one of those battery thingies in it, one of those lightning bolt boxes in it. Hmm. Well, I don't understand those things, so I'm I'm going to leave oh, the things I don't understand alone. <laughs> Are you going to mention to us that they are there? Oh, yes. Absolutely. There are things here you guys might be interested in seeing. Next um, to this very valuable red key card of these weird things. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> also, Bun, have you been using Elemental Savant? Uh, yes. Okay. I'm going to carefully step around all of the gross mold. Investigate the um weird objects. Uh, okay, the, um, the gun might be interesting for you. Shortstack is me... uh, sorry. Uh, Shortstack is doing this class too, so I'm just kind of reading up so I know what they do. Yeah, okay, go you. ahead. Uh, give me an intelligence check. Um, you're you're dude, so add your proficiency bonus. Roll intelligence and add proficiency. Intelligence. How do I add? Do just, I just, just roll, add it, just okay. roll it and then add it manually. <laughs> okay. Probably a, it's probably a nineteen. Four. Nineteen. All right. Yeah, you could definitely identify that this is a, a some sort of gun of some sort. And looking at the battery pack that you tried to stuff into the blunder boss, you're like, oh, that's how it works. Uh, huh. You're smart enough with guns that you kind of. A simple point and click interface, but you know, a uh, different thing. Um, you have a laser pistol, you can add that to your um arsenal. Arsenal, yeah, you can add that. Uh, you should be able to grab it from the uh 
inventory. And then this one has 15 shots in it, so you can also add a battery pack with 15 shots. Right, I'll, I'll be examining the uh, the ball things now with spikes. Ma yeah, you're uh, okay. Make a do the same thing. Make an intelligence proficiency check. Proficiency intelligence check. Uh, six. Uh, ten. You don't quite understand what they do, but you understand that they are some sort of grenade in a sense. You don't know what kind of grenade. They are some sort of grenade. They are both the same. Okay, sweet. So if, if you were taking those, go ahead and just add two generic grenades to um, the... Actually, you know what? Let's just resolve that right now. Greetings! As Aphelion jumps down. Oh, be very careful with those. Those are grenades. Do you know what a grenade is, young Saul? Uh, yes, it is a type of beverage, if I recall. No, that's water. Well, well, that's no, lot. beverages <laughs> is anything you can drink other than water. So water isn't a beverage. Is water wet? Yeah, see? See? Answering things yeah. is hard. Uh, it just staring <laughs> blank-eyed at it. And I'm, I'm mistaking it for grenadine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see what you're doing, yeah. No, no! You see, this is a grenade. You, It's like those bottles of liquid that you've been throwing at people, except it's contained into this rigid um, container to contain it. Containment. Oh. These Not ones are sleep grenades. Not very they efficient. You, you pull the pin out, throw it, and uh, hopefully it makes whoever holds near nearby fall asleep. They Good can't... job cleaning out this place. It's been dirty forever. I needed to wanted to clean it out. Goes down to the hallway a little bit. Oh, you forgot to take care of those last ones. Take care of them on the way out, would you please? All right, oh, got it. Um, so. Uh, uh... Since I never said I got rid of it, I'll just, I, I'll just lead the flaming sphere down the hall. Yeah, it's easy enough to kill them. They have no defenses. They are just ward. They are they are warding monsters. Um, I imagine it's excellent. doing very good at cleaning the hallway too. You are fifty percent done with one of the tasks. If you can get the other ones to leave, I shall grant you one of my favors. There's more of them. Oh yeah, the survivor. Where Second colony down south. Ones are less mean, though. Oh, oh, goodbye. What do you mean by less mean? I mean like they're not warriors? Oh, they don't seem to throw pebbles at me when I go by them. They won't listen to me either. Uh, not a god to them either, then. I don't think so. I think they just consider me a nuisance. I don't know why. Why anybody would consider me a nuisance. Why at all would anybody consider me, the Aphelion 3000, a nuisance? Some mysteries in the world can never be solved. Indeed! I, I hate you so much. I hate you too! I love the customs of this country, of this of this planet. <laughs> Oh, and be careful of those radiated items. You can drop them off in one of the yellow rooms I showed you about earlier. Do you yellow have a yellow rooms. key card yet? Yeah, uh, it looks like we're crap out of luck. Oh, well. I'll just store it. Not pull I'll just store them right near my um, right near my <laughs> testicle. That should be fine. <laughs> Excellent. Bye. He just pops back up. <laughs> So yes, you have completed one of the... You have cleared out one of the two colonies. Okay. Oh. You have two irradiated items, or two two items from uh, items from two different irradiated rooms out of the three. And you haven't seen a single android yet. Whatever that is, let's um, find this last... last colony. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
So um, just to be clear, Saul, you found two sleep grenades, so you should be able to add those. Yeah, I, I've already added them in. Excellent. Right. Excellent. The lights flicker on in this next room, in this <laughs> next hallway as you walk by. Boop, boop. Clear this out then. Couple of pathways. What's in this unlock room first? Okay. Well, as you head to the door, uh, got it. Not more radiant Asian. <laughs> Take a look in. Okay. Uh, roll me a d4, please. Two. How Two. many slots are inside? Uh, roll again, because we thought that we did that one the first time. There were two slots when you rolled a two. One. One. You open it, and you see... This is interesting. Um, <laughs> Three slots. <gasps> ah, ah, ah. See, two robots similar to the ones that you saw earlier in here. Uh, holding, like, like just, like, a wrench and some other stuff in their, in their arms and just waving it against the room. And then beyond that, you see... Uh, A giant toad that they are trying to fight, and it's like ribbit, ribbit, and kind of just tries to like wipe at them as they get too close. Nope, close the door. <laughs> Was that another slot? Um, slotish. Oh, it's like huh. a, a slot, but it's not a terrifying creature. You just, just hear, like, a big slam against the door that's closed. Like something just hit it. Lock it I don't lock like it. the way that sounds. I don't like that sound at all. Is it in danger of opening, or...? Nope, doesn't seem like it. Okay. I don't want... I don't, I, I don't want... Like I don't want to deal with that right now, <laughs> so... <laughs> Don't, don't we need something from it? Um, yeah, but there's a thing in there. And whenever we go in those rooms, we take... We get hurt, and we throw up. Well, lower it out. It gives me an opportunity to try this new thing out. I don't have to go in the room to use it. Oh, yeah, good choice. Yeah, good idea. Oh, um... That a space gun? <laughs> uh, have at it, and I open up the door. Okay, open the door. I'm gonna... One... One of the worker robots is kind of like all crippled, but still trying to like like crumpled from its metal, as from from just hitting the door after being thrown against it. The other one is like in the mouth of the oh. of the toad. The toad's not like panicking or anything. It's just sitting there with the thing in its mouth, and it's just kind of uh, as it's just trying to do that. It's, and the other one is uh, calling out, "Get get me out, Billy Bot! Get me out, Billy Bot! It's eating me!" Father, no! <laughs> and then it's gonna eat you. I'm going to shoot it. Alright, let me uh I'm going to cast laser. Cast laser? <laughs> so do you have to like reload right. these like your your normal guns or basically have twenty twenty or whatever the energy cell is, uh you'll find ones that are partially depleted, but it's like a twenty ammo clip. Yeah, you probably can't do so... trick shots with them. Yeah, it's got it's it's got like a different thing that to reloaded that's basically saying it's it's got an am ammunition capacity. Yeah. Um all right, so roll to hit with the laser pistol of 13. It does hit the giant toad. So I will do uh, my 
radiantation damage to it. Yeah. Aren't, um, futuristic weapons different, like a different proficiency? Um, you can it's a firearm? Four, but... it's, it's a firearm, so she is proficient with firearms. Okay, I thought, I thought the futuristic weapons were different. It does have the futuristic category, but it's not, I don't think okay. it's mechanical. It's, uh, I, mean, I, guess you, you, I guess you just fire them like a gun, so... Yeah. yeah, 3d6 uh, Artis- radiant damage. <laughs> uh, artificers and, and gun people are the only ones that uh, that are good with them. Pretty much. I, I remember um, my, my Iceland Dale guy tried to use them. wasn't very good at them. Okay, so I'm going to say with this that you hit him with the 15 damage. And he just kind of like throws up from that. And the, and the, the father bot just lands over here. Ah! A two. Thank you! Billy! Billy Bot, I'm back! And we'll say that he dropped like one of one of something he was holding or some pieces come off of him that is irradiated as he runs back yep. in to fight the giant toad. Right near the text the uh, testicles uh. and I grab the, the piece of metal. <laughs> I go yeah, you can you just shut the door because you got what you needed. That was a unusual bullet you fired there. It's almost like magic. Pretty weird. Maybe I can cast magic now. Fireball! Oh, I'm so glad that didn't work. I wasn't thinking about all of us. <laughs> that seems a little more powerful than your normal gun. Didn't really make as nice of a sound, though, but it's pretty cool. Yeah, it was just like a pew. Yeah, I'll talk about Al- talk to Alfie about it. Maybe we can make it louder. It might be like <laughs> like a few. I'm g- I'm gonna go deaf. Uh, expo- exploring with you. Pew pew <laughs> pew pew. It, does- it doesn't have that satisfying like kickback because it's just laser. There's nothing to discharge. Are the this doesn't seem to be a mushroomy area anymore. So I think we over mm-hmm. overpass it a little bit. Let's let's go out here. I, I, I see a blue door though question for the dm is it like yeah. do i just hold it with no recoil or is it like star trek the original series where you fire the phasers and they have recoil even though it's like light <laughs> did, did tos have have recoil i think so I mean, with the the phaser rifles I, I mean i haven't watched much of it but they're probably so used to firing guns <laughs> you know um, old westerns and stuff yeah um, I know that in in Empire Strikes Back, when they were directing the the extras in, on Hoth to uh, to shoot, they were they were. I remember seeing video of them talk about, okay, this is a bigger gun, give it a bit of a kickback, even though, yeah, it's a laser. <laughs> I know in um, it doesn't discharge energy. In the Last Can Jedi, I uh, Laura Dern, there's a scene where she's firing a laser, but you see her mouth go pew. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, let's uh, let, let's try to get these pygmies first before we, or I don't know. I guess I don't see any more um, any more fungus on this hallway either. Uh, the uh, uh, the eye mentioned that they're to the south. I think. So yeah. I, I let's look. explore while we are on the way there. I guess. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yes, let's explore the the, uh, the hallway with much less things. Yeah, let's <laughs> do the blue blue door. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Blue door is another empty room. Give me a D. me a D twelve, Joey. Nice when they add the uh, the d- actual dice to these. A four. Another four. Yeah. Uh, where are the... They seem to imply that, that they're going to add those, like the actual dice dice rolling. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, so this is another room that seems to have another sort of collection, but instead of, like, butterflies and weird bugs, it is a collection of comic books. Oh. But they're not, like, cool comic books. They're, like, you know, adventures from gardening. Oh. <laughs> oh. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> okay, so from Valiant Comics then. <laughs> uh, you you look at them, but you can't uh, you can't uh, read the text. It's not uncommon, but they are in mint condition. They'd probably go for a lot on 
um, Garden Bay. Are they worth anything? <laughs> Here, no. They're just they're just comic okay. books that some collector wanted. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you're like they're worth worth money. They're probably no, worth no, no, they're, they're probably <laughs> worth millions of gold, but only on their home planet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, book books can be expensive, but those are really thin ones. <laughs> Sit in this room. All right. If anyone else uh, wants to take the lead, go for it. I'm just going through the hallway. Yeah, I'll get the blue one afterwards. This messy lounge is in ruins. This water oh, is no. dirty. <laughs> we have people. Oh, this. Things in here. Area. All right. This messy lounge is in ruins. Skeletons rest in its torn recliners, clutching the cracked stems of cobweb wine glasses. The floor is littered with over. Oh no, this is not eight. Oops, not the room we thought it was. <laughs> it, sh it should be this. Oops, all uh, skeletons. Oh. <laughs> Nope, yeah, there's there's two of these on the ship, that's why. Uh, looted, uh, this, the floor is littered with overturned cocktail tables, looted snack dispensers, and the skulls of long-deceased passengers. This one in particular does have several, um, nine people in it in uh, the form of humans and elves in blue jumpsuits. But they're, but they're <laughs> skeletons? They're alive, they kind of all look at you as you walk in. Oh, oh. oh. Hmm. skeletons then. Uh, they've been pushed to the side. Then we'll say okay. that because this is this this is this same text is used for two different rooms, and this room has something different in it. Um, so. Oh, hello. Oh, well, hello there. We weren't expecting. Who might you be? We weren't expecting anybody alive here. No, yeah, I mean, we are. Didn't you see all those mushroom people there before? Well, yeah, was there was so. like, uh, hello. Are you? Yes, that's what they said. Are you from here? No, no, not at all. Found it. I guess we live here now, don't we all? Yes. Oh, oh so you're not. I believe I do. Oh, so you're not aliens. No, what is that? Oh, I'm learning lots of new words today. Um, uh, so, uh, you making this, just living here now, huh? Uh, actually, so reading the text a little more is like, okay, yeah, well, we're not from here. We're from our original planet, you see. Oh, yeah. Woke up in the the cold stasis, whatever those are called. But um, we've just been hanging out. Not much to do. Boring, boring planets. <sighs> well, there's plenty of fun the things. There's plenty of cool things to do on our planet. We have um, oh, like what? we have uh, r rugby. Hmm. I care not for carpentry. Oh. Well, that was about it. <laughs> I mean, we have um, evil I gods who <laughs> we have evil gods who try to destroy the universe every few years. Oh, so that's kind of cool. What is that book that you're carrying? The thin one with the pictures. This other one down here says. Oh, it's a <laughs> for gardening. And gardening Garden? produces vegetables. Oh, you see, you see, I I am a botanist. I know all about the gardenings, but on my planet, I want to know about how this planet gardens. Oh, yes, it? yes, come tell me, come tell me. Oh, yes, I'll tell you about the soils and the fertilizers and the different yes, seeds. Yes, soil I use. everything, soil everywhere, uh, yes. It, yeah, it uh, gets pretty dirty. Uh, do you have. There we go. Do you have pineapples? Uh, we have pineapples on my planet. Another nonsense word, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> Giant purple things. Yes. <laughs> oh, what does everybody else do? Well, there he is just totally lost, man. Okay, so blue blue door, huh? Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm gonna door, meet yeah, the blue. people too. Blue I hear talking door. and unfamiliar voices, so I'm gonna go over on rhubarb side. Oh. <laughs> uh, I, I, I heard a uh, rhubarb's gonna be a bit distracted for a while now. He's talking about vegetables. So I. Uh, so, uh, Lyriel and I are going to check the blue door. I'll make this pretty easy for you. All the rooms over here are... And we'll jump back to, to six. All the rooms over here are... Pretty empty. empty! 
Uh, go ahead and roll me a d12. You say they're empty, but then you describe what's in them. It, they are an unnumbered room, and they are yeah, essentially I know. I know. just <laughs> random. It's the random encounter of rooms. Yeah. <laughs> they so, are procedurally generated. So, so Saul, go ahead Five. and roll me a d12. Five. Five. Uh, this looks like it's some sort of workshop. At least the one of the one of the rooms that catches your eye. And there's parts of a dismembered combat robot and clutter on a workbench. Unmoving. That's about it. Oh, uh, robotic li era, uh, metal limbs. Uh. Uh. I'll investigate for anything of an importance, just in case. Investigation check. Uh, 27. Oh. So you find a, a full energy cell uh, on the on a low, on a shelf somewhere. So you can add an energy cell energy cell to your okay. Inventory. Well, As six enters in, it's like, oh, look at this one. This one's flying. I don't know if we had any flyers on our planet. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. How high can you fly? Uh. Probably only up to the ceiling. I mean, I That's... can't really. I can't do that. I, I I don't like heights. I don't even like sitting on this chair. I like going over here into the corner, and I just like sitting right here, and it's it's nice and calm. Isn't oh. it nice and calm? Come take a look. Come take a look. I'm gonna Lyra gonna poke. go look at the calm. Yeah. Lyra mm, pokes his nice head in. Calm. Like, what's going on in here? Whoa! <laughs> hey! Hey! Another one coming to the party. Come on in. Come on in. Come to join us. Oh, hello. Uh, hello. You are hello. some sort of cat person, man. We have cat men in our... We don't have cat men in our planet, only cat women. Well, I... That's... Well, I mean... They reproduce okay. asexually. I'm not a cat, but, uh... Alright. But lying. what happens if I touch your ears? Can I touch your ears? I was recently shot in the ear today. I, uh, they're, they're not. They're a little sensitive today. I think. Oh, oh yeah. I'll I'll try and talk quieter, quieter. Here, is that so? Okay? Oh no, it's it's fine. No, it's not. He, the, he steps the, back and he's it's, talking it's very the, quiet. It's hard to hear him. It's, no, no, it's it's not the volume that would bother me. It is the touching, what? the open wound. I, that well, that is I what can't. Would, I can't hear you. Well, well, you know it's Closer, funny. I can't hear you. I I am very confused about this conversation. <laughs> And not hear you come closer. It's a, it's a it is a it is a pleasure to to meet you. Question: What what DM? What do these people look like? <laughs> uh, there there are humanoids and elves in blue jumpsuits of various different. Uh, We've heights. seen these jumpsuits, haven't we? I yes, you have seen yeah. corpses in de jumpsuits. You did say earlier that they had woken yeah. up from freezing place so like a cryostasis but you don't and, know what that is and the eyeball did mention that though hold on a moment how how have you sir how have you stayed here this whole time is this so we were we were asleep up until the last i don't know a couple of fortnights just mm. asleep are, are you so enjoying we... chapter four or that just released yesterday no no oh. <laughs> it's a marvel season this should be pretty good okay You've timed the episode. <laughs> Joey, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you dated the episode, yeah. <laughs> Joey, I'm about to rip your arm off and beat you to the wet end. <laughs> with, how, how, uh, with, with how passive they are, I'm assuming that they're from Miranda. Mm. Serenity reference. Yep. I see what um, you did there. Saul, what are you doing? Uh... I am waiting outside. Mm -hmm. I... He is not a people person. Okay. I'm chatting with this guy about. I go, mm -hmm. and then you cook the, the, the pumpkin seeds and it makes a nice salty treat. Yes. yes. Um. Oh, yes, yes, yes. We've been dealing with things. Uh, uh... Have you been to the garden level yet? Oh, we want to go there. There's all these uh, yes. foreign vegetables I want to partake in. 
Well, you need to take the blue card that your friends have there, and then you could go on down, and I think you need a violet card, too. Oh, this bothersome com com compotter is uh, locking the tombs until we do its chores. Uh, by, by the way, would you happen to know of any androids that we can androids? talk to? Androids? Never heard of them. Oh, what do you mean, never heard of them? Aren't they from where you're from? Um, yes. Yes, they are. They, they're still in, they're still in the, 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 the cryo sleep. Oh, could you, uh, point out stores of cryo sleep? It, it, it's, it's below the garden level. Well, then how are we supposed to talk to them if the computer, the, the computer needs to unlock it for us to get there? Well, you, you and your three friends, and you just, you basically, you have to finish the task that the computer gave you. But one of our tasks is finding the androids. Oh, well, uh, they're. They're still in cryo. Stasis. Not, not making any sense, man. Don't you know your own your own your own ship? Yes, of, of course I do. I've been I've I've been all over this ship, everywhere to the to the, this level, and then to the to the garden level, and and even all the radiant active ones as well. Oh yes, yes. Can you tell all us of them? Every single one. Can you tell us about the 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 veggie pygmies? Um, well, I think you killed all of them. How would you know that we killed the veggie pygmies? I, Some people should I, start be rolling inside checks at this point. <laughs> I'm going to whisper very loudly that I think they are the androids across the room, not being subtle at all. <laughs> no, no, no. The androids are still in cryo, sweetie. Still in cryo. Uh, anybody wants to do an inside check, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you were separating us. <laughs> it's, uh, it's... it's very weird that he's saying things that you seem to already know, Rhubarb. Yeah. With the exception of things that he seems to not. There's something going on. Uh, Six, you've got the heebie-jeebies because you're starting to realize this too. Yeah, he's pretty much been listening at the door, not wanting to interact with them because well, um, they sound way too too chipper and eager. It's like, well, I guess we'll be on our way, and I oh, start oh, and oh, I'll no, start no, like no, backing no, 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 up, no, no, no. backing up. Um, um, I, 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 I have a new backhoe I want to show you for gardening. That does you have normal hope. That that I does don't... sound tempting. Um, yes, yes, it's it's all it's all the way over here. Um, I can see it fine from here. Oh well, it's a small, oh, it's a small one. It is a fireball. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, um, I think I would like to uh, try to. Try to get their attention. Can I can I make a suggestion um, for a yeah. class thing to do? You have a spell that can detect evil things. Um, uh, detects... Do you think it would work on androids? Well, it'll tell if it's like we're if, assuming they if, are. If it's a here, we'll look it up real quick. It's called um. This features divine yeah, sense. Detected. Oh wait a second! Don't even worry about it. So you can see if they're at least celestial fiends or undeads. Oh well, um, here. How about this? I am going to uh, cast a second level spell that has a sixty foot radius called Zone of Truth. Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> <laughs> Once before in any of our campaigns. Yeah, <laughs> I, I've seen this maybe once or twice in Adventure League games or, or in other games. Um, okay. 15-foot uh, radius, you're essentially getting all the ones in that are around you. So, like, the northern, all, all except the three at the bottom of the room, so the top six. 15-foot um, radius sphere, send a point of your choice until the spell ends. The creature enters the spell area first time. It's in the most take a charisma saving throw. They're going to make a bunch of charisma saving throws. <laughs> I was about the, the the save against it is a little too low. Lyrio was like, Lyrio was like, okay, I've had about enough of this. <laughs> uh, 
Um, um there we go. What's the DC? Uh it is DC uh, where the hell did it go? Fifteen. DC fifteen. 15. Uh two three fail. Okay. So half of them fail. Uh they've casted every they all the six there kind of just like look look at each other real quickly, like glance. Worriedly, what do you do? Worriedly? Yeah, they they know that you've cast it now. Yeah, yeah. they do. And they can choose not to answer questions, yeah. but that will but that will just make you way more suspicious to us. <laughs> just means they can't lie. Doesn't mean they have to yeah, have to answer you. Mm -hmm. Ask them what they are. I can't be I can't be deceived. You can't deceive me. Deceive me. Half of half of them will speak the truth, the other half will lie. <laughs> You well, have one question. We'll just kill one of them, point to the corpse, and go, "Is he dead?" <laughs> I mean, you could you could just point him and call them if they're alive. All right. So, what do you, what do you ask? <laughs> yes. <clears throat> Points to a jumpsuit. <laughs> Is that jumpsuit green? Three of them. One of them steps forward and be like, um. No. What about the others? <laughs> they're they're not green either. No, I didn't mean the, the other jumpsuits. What is this? Uh, I'm twenty uh, questions. I'm... They can tell the truth and say no, so it doesn't really help. <laughs> Wait, oh, isn't Lyrio right. colorblind? <laughs> Yes, Lyriel is colorblind. It was an earnest question. <laughs> that, that explains it because earlier he described them as blue. <laughs> but in some languages, blue and green are the same. I hate that. <laughs> um. <laughs> well, what do you what do you keep asking? Well, uh, Lyriel is um an idiot. <laughs> so <laughs> he... what they are. So, uh, if you could kindly identify yourselves, uh, I'm, um, I, I'm, I'm. What are you? Passengers. I'm a human passenger on the same one as talking to you. Human <laughs> passenger on the ship. What are you? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm a human. I, I, how dare you, sir or madam, insist human. upon me being un, untruthful? Do you, could you describe a human to me? Yes. Yes? Yes. Do so. Well, it's tall and he has dark hair and two eyes and nose and They all and have that? Hair. Do they all Most look them? like that? Most in general of them? you will but, notice that the same one is talking to you. Yeah, None of the I'm, others have piped Ariel, up. Ariel. What? Ask a different one. Oh, yes. <laughs> Describe a human to me. <laughs> oh. um. It's all his face, Paul. Man. Look, I, okay, I'm really only good at these interrogation things when I'm, like, loud and angry looking, you know and I one? really don't want to rough these guys up if I don't have to. Would um, Lionel um, know which one's failed? Um, does the spell let you know which no. one's failed? No, it, no, it does not. The affected creature is aware of the spell, mm -hmm. but not the other way around. Uh, this one up here says, um... But, I don't know, but the caster would know if it was successful or not? I don't think uh, they ever do. It depends on the... It depends if the... Because uh, he's making an area of effect. So I, I know, I know, but... Angry. I'm just imagining a situation I will say where... Lyriel... You... Okay. Go ahead. Well, I was just, I was just yeah. thinking, like, if it was a one-on-one -on -one interrogation, you wouldn't know if if it succeeded or not. Yeah, even even regular charm spells uh, don't tell the caster if it was successful or not. Uh, it's yeah. pretty much it, what is the, yeah. off their reaction. So, Lyriel, when you say I guess usually describe... The oh, sorry. Mm. So, so Lyriel, when you say describe a human, you will understand that that is not a question. Lyriel is an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> the other question... I'm open to suggestions, Saul. You're the brain thinker over here. Think okay. of brains. 
Oh, shit. All right. What, what were those things called? Androids? Androids. Y yes. All right. Uh, just point a uh, in succession uh, points to the one in the upper left. Are mm -hmm. you an android? No. Next one. Are you an android? No. So on and so forth. They all answer no. All right. Back to the first one. What are you then? Here. Uh, Not where. What? Flesh. Ask them what species they are. Go oh, to hell with this. And um, that one just turns shape shifts out of being a human. Uh -huh. uh, okay. Into... Doppelganger. Oh, oh, if you were if you were just doppelgangers, you could have just showed up as doppelgangers. I would have I would have treated you like a person. I'll have you know. Just, thank you. I was getting tired of that too. <laughs> I'll actually, be yes. Right I hope you're happy. You have come in here and sullied our things, and uh, well, now we well, can't well, surprise you. Well, we're already surprised. We weren't imagining we'd find living things here. Most of what we found have been feral beasts, some weird fungi, and whatever the hell else we, we've we encountered so far. As a matter of fact, I am less surprised that you're doppelgangers. Come on, guys. Work work with me here. I don't, I don't understand. It's not that difficult. Not that difficult. You could have... You could have been anything, but you chose to be survivors. You could have been slads. You could have pretended to be slads. Why didn't you pretend to be slads? You would have blended right in. We met slads not an hour ago. <laughs> and like, he's, like, working himself up into a rage. <laughs> like, they were lovely. Does a dirty, they were does a dirty 20... Does a dirty d d 20 hit you, Ariel? Uh, no, a dirty 20 does not hit me. <laughs> As he just <laughs> takes his fist back and just punches you right... And tries to punch you right in the face. Okay, rude. <laughs> We take yeah, a... that, that usually doesn't work on him. <laughs> we take a <laughs> Look, we take a quick break. Most for... Uh, I was actually thinking that we were probably could call it just about now. Okay. Okay. Um, no, if anybody right. else wants to... ending on a cliffhanger, I'm really yeah, curious about to... this room. <laughs> oh, I, I actually like that. That's actually yeah. Ooh, it'll <laughs> incentivize viewers to turn <laughs> tune in next. <laughs> Does anybody have any final things they want to do before we jump off? Because I, we were focusing on Lyriel there for a good bit as I'm, he was I'm trying sorry. to figure out what a question is. Well, no, it's I, fine. <laughs> I will I will rage. All right. So I can tell we'll say that, that'll be the first him. thing you do in the room. Yeah, he the first thing you'll do in the room. Because the talk about the garden <laughs> was a lie. Yeah, don't you know anything about gardens? I <laughs> hate them. <gasps> <laughs> I don't even really care too much about horticulture, and I'm offended for you, Rubar. <laughs> My father was killed in a horrible gardening accident. But... Okay, but how, though? <laughs> but why? <laughs> well, you see, to be continued. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Uh, thank you all. Um, that's that's Kenku, uh, or Squawkbot. Uh, thank you all. Um, this one, I was, I was really like, this one's got a lot of like, here's a lot of creatures. Have fun, and I'm like, how do I run this stuff? Uh, so thank you for taking out most of those VG pygmies really easily. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah we, the we, moment we, I saw a, a, a straight line hallway and there was going to be a bunch of stuff in it, I knew what I needed to do. Yeah, I was just, I was just hoping that somebody had that. Now I have to see. Oh, yeah, so yeah, we finally have key cards. We finally have an energy gun that does freaking 3d6 damage. That's insane. Yeah. But that's just the kind of stuff that you'll... Uh, that you find that you'll, in uh, Exposition and Barrier Peaks. Yeah, you have to, which means you probably have to use it to fight bad, big old thingies. Yeah. <laughs> I like that the guy just punches me in the face. I don't even budge. And I'm like, oh. Rude. <laughs> Perhaps when you have a 23. <laughs> 23. 
armor class. Wait, Joey, Joey wanted to finish his uh, message. Sorry, Joey. Oh, oh damn I, I it. Just... I wanted to draw the eyeballs. <laughs> Wait, you got the man. Uh, I just wanted to make sure that oh, the, uh, the laser was the proper color because we're good guys. <laughs> I'm just saying there's there's hot there's, there's hot secret kobolds. Oh, uh, hot secret kobolds. Okay. <laughs> In our area. The, the kobold you. comes out. The kobold comes out. Ah, this is the last time I book an Airbnb next to one of the lava pits. So wasn't freaking there, hot in here. Wasn't there a super attractive kobold in the last game? The um, the 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 spa one. Uh, well, yes, there was. Yeah, there was a kobold Markle, there. Yeah, I think. You oh, guys, <laughs> I you know what I love the most about this classic artwork for the D and D. I love how none of these guys have shirts that got sleeves on them. Like, <laughs> everybody is suns out, guns out, baby. Like, I, even I Wizard! Can't believe, I, I can't believe how much work the guy who did the Mega Man 1 cover got. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, the, uh, a knight who says knee now has a laser pistol. <laughs> I love that helmet. Yeah, that's actually yeah. rather futuristic. Hey, I wonder if that's an item in here we can find. Oh, oh the one, the other one, yeah, is a, definitely a like a space marine helmet. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what? What exactly? I can't tell if that's. Oh, okay, that's a tentacle around him. I was like, it's what, a tentacle what around is this him and inner tube tubes. thing he's holding? It, it's weird because it matches up where his shirt and his um yeah his his leather uh strap is. So it it it's bad tangents. Bad tangents. <laughs> Yeah, and um, what he—he's apparently straddling the tentacle, yeah. going after the uh, the uh, the laser knight. This is just like one of my Japanese animes. Yeah, that perspective what doesn't make <laughs> that perspective doesn't make any sense. <laughs> oh, I uh, I can't I can't say it on on screen. On, on screen. <laughs> and he has no pants. Yeah. No. Um. Yeah, you're right. I mean, this is so <laughs> This is somehow more <laughs> suspicious and less suspicious at the same time. <laughs> yeah, what, what better to wear, wear with scale mail than at loincloth? <laughs> Good old fantasy armor. Mm -hmm. And session. Well, it, it works for it works for girls. I mean, bikini armor <laughs> is the most advanced uh, uh, armor at all. Uh, so. Honestly. If you get if you take the shield, the curse shield that you have, and turn it into a bikini armor, then no, that would do the work. Well, it would go all the way to, right to the armor instead of trying to hit the unarmored areas of the bikini. Yeah, uh, you know, I you know, it's, you know, I'm all I'm all about uh, what is it? Objectification equality, man. Yes. If I were to ever, if I were to ever design <laughs> yeah. like a. If I were to ever design a mech war game where like you could pilot like, like mech warrior or some shit, I would want I would want nose paint that for every pinup model Betty Page looking ass nose paint, I want yeah. a beefy hunk. Real yeah. hard. <laughs> just, just right there. And I'm not just talking about like guys who were totally ripped and absolutely probably lifeguards, but I'm talking all body types. Oh, all, yeah, everybody. Great. Everybody's getting yeah. in a bikini and they're going to be painted on the nose of my war machine. Yeah. Chain mail banana hammock. <laughs> yeah. Gilbert Fedora. <laughs> <laughs> 